It's been a long, long time since the province last won a women's curling title. 49 years to be exact. However, this year they have a new look, a new skip. Now New Brunswick has planted themselves in the playoff hunt. Rebecca Atkinson and Andrea Kelly have formed a partnership propelling the team forward. With a 5-3 and three record, a trip to the weekend is in their sights. A win tonight will get them that much closer. But they'll face a strong Newfoundland and Labrador team in draw 14. The Scotties continues from Red Deer next. And on this Wednesday evening, we say hello, Canada, and welcome again to our continuing coverage of the 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts from the NMAX Centrium here in Red Deer, our featured game, Newfoundland against New Brunswick. Time to meet the teams now, brought to you by Ford Drive One. Newfoundland Labrador champions out of the Bally Haley Country Club in St. John, skipped by Heather Strong, Stephanie Korev, Jennifer Cunningham, and her sister, Laura Strong, make up the Newfoundland Labrador champions. New Brunswick with an injury to lead Jody to Sola will call on Jeanette Murphy to come off the bench to join Jill Babin and the big story of course with this team is the fact that Andrea Kelly no longer skips the team but still does throw the fourth stone the skipping is done by Rebecca Atkinson. Four sheets in play we're just underway here in this first end and Newfoundland and Labrador are playing the red stones and they will have the last rock they have the hammer here in this opening end against new brunswick newfoundland comes in with a rather disappointing two and six record still mathematically in contention new brunswick though have been one of the pleasant surprises of this year scotties they are five and three as we get ready to play fourth or third stones and it's so it's the New Brunswick skip for Betka Atkinson who will throw these third stones Vic Router along with Linda Moore Russ Howard Kathy Goche is with us as well and uh, let's get right to this story how did this come about I mean she struggled last year went three and eight Andrea Kelly and maybe a thought I have to do something yeah, and it's they're not a pile of curlers to pick from, to be perfectly frank, um, Vic. And uh, a little loss of confidence, I think, last year. Uh, Andrea played well last year, but a couple of the big shots just wrong side of the inch, and uh, she wanted to switch it up a bit. And she just loves the fact that uh, Becky's holding the broom. Not just ice reading or, or the that type of stuff. It's the responsibility of the skipping itself, and uh, it's one less headache for Andrea Kelly. And she certainly feels more confident than that translates into her shooting percentage she's only I think one point off of the top skip out here which is amazing because the other three in the team are a little bit below half so that means her shots are fairly difficult she's playing very very well so when we get down to this particular game it's a very important game for New Brunswick and not a great start in the the first rock was thrown in we thought we would see an exchange of takeouts but the second for New Brunswick missed an open hit just pushed it a little sideways that's the one on the right biting the 12 as you see it but here's the break back a chance to sit to and that one goes through well, Laura Strong puts it through so here are the standings heading into this a 14th draw just four rounds to go Manitoba is on the ice tonight and leading at two losses BC Team Canada at three along with New Brunswick, Quebec. You're at four, you're still in good shape. Five, ah, now you're getting a little shaky. But Newfoundland, Labrador, Northwest Territories, Yukon, PEI, as I say, mathematically still alive. But that's about all. Oh, Becky oh, Atkinson. Well, they're handing these chances back and forth now. Yeah, okay, yeah, that wasn't uh, pretty either. It was wide open hit to two of them nice. now. And, uh, you know, New Brunswick never been in this situation either. And that's another thing you have to factor in. Andy was saying just before the game, she, she loves the brushing and she's probably the most fit skip in the history of curling. <laughs> we always kidded that she was the best sweeper in the province and she didn't sweep. Uh, playing skip all those years. She's been skipped but since birth and uh, but she f finds it uh, it really uh, 
takes up a lot of time, thinking time for it. She doesn't have to worry about throwing that last shot. She just does it. And uh, I believe, uh, Linda, all that brushing, uh, you learn the different paths in the ice, and it can help your draw weight. Kathy Gauthier is with us this evening as well as New Brunswick has to shuffle their lineup, Kathy. Well, they certainly do. Jody DeSola likely out for the rest of the event. A horrible cough coming into it. Pulled a muscle off her rib. Coach Mike Babin says she can breathe out. Hard time breathing in, and so to even talk is really difficult for her. But interesting enough for Jeanette Murphy coming into the lineup. Played third for five years for Rebecca Atkinson. So who better to hold the broom for her? You do feel sorry for all these players. We've had the flu go through the ranks, and uh, we've had players sit out for that. We've had an injury, Tammy Schneider, and now, in this case, uh, Jody. And you feel sorry for them. They worked so hard to get here, and then they have to sit on the bench. But at least they've got a great replacement. It is interesting, you know, when you talk about a person's makeup, some people, I think you, for example, Linda Russ, can handle the pressure of doing both the skipping and the throwing of the last rock. Maybe it's just not in Andrea Kelly's makeup. Yeah, exactly. I, I think uh, we're all wired a little differently. And I, I remember Brad Gushy saying that to me. He just loved the fact that uh, he had that responsibility of... Uh, putting the broom in the right spot, worrying about the strategy, the angles, how to miss, and all that type of stuff that the skip does, and just take it away and just be a pure shot maker. And again, he was in great shape, so the brushing didn't bother him either. And he really felt more confident. And the other thing about the brushing, if you're at all a nervous person, it burns off that nervous energy. It does. It keeps you busy, and it uh, releases some of that energy and gets you ready to throw. Right to it, right to it. Newfoundland and Labrador doing a nice job here, sitting to having the hammer in this first end. Normal? Disappointing yeah. event again for Newfoundland Labrador's Heather Strong, her 10th Scotty's appearance. Okay, wait. Yeah. She, like so many teams, if you ask the, the skips at the beginning of the week, what are you looking for? We need to be more consistent. And they just, again, this week, couldn't find the consistency. No, in nine years, they've had three times where they've been, had a record over 500. In 06 and 08, they were 7 and 4 and actually playing quite well. And you think that's a building time. And yes, the next time will even be better. And very disappointing for them the way that the games have gone. And Newfoundland and Labrador have not played that badly, but they've made those key mistakes that give up the wins. Try to roll on top here. It looks pretty close. Has to slow down. Exactly, and it's, it's a tough measuring stick when you get to the Canadian Championship because you're playing some teams that don't want to cooperate. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You're playing some awfully good teams, arguably the best in the world, and uh, it's pretty easy to string a couple of losses together. Was it any less weight, though? I didn't get well, this is a nice start, taking advantage of that miss by Jill Babin, the New Brunswick second. And now this is an open draw for two for Newfoundland and Labrador. This is the out turn for the left-hander, and this is her favorite turn. Her intern draws this week are actually very weak. So you may see her try to maneuver things to play this turn when possible. 14% more reasons to throw this turn. This is 80% on the out turn. Anywhere in, Laura doesn't know we have hammer here. Get to one. Good. Get to one. Good job. Good job. Shot. Good girl. Good. Nice start for Newfoundland and Labrador, the champions from the Bally Haley Country Club in St. John's. They pick up two and an early smile from Heather Strong. like a real particular The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. So here are all the games on the ice in his 14th draw in Max Centrium. Uh, Prince Edward Island, Kim Dolan against Nova Scotia. Been a disappointing week for Heather Smith Stacey from Halifax. Last year's bronze medalist. Our feature game is on sheet B. On sheet C, Quebec, very much part of it at five and three. Saskatchewan, Michelle Englot at four and four. 
both right now on that sort of bubble stage. Can't afford to really lose. And then Manitoba leading the table at 6-2, and two, going against a lady that's really had her number in Kerry Galusha with huge wins over Jones both in 2009 and 2010. And we'll keep you updated. Our featured game, Newfoundland and Labrador pick up two. And so here in the second, it will be New Brunswick. Skipped by Rebecca Atkinson out of the Gage Golf and Country Club in Oromocto that do have the last rock playing the yellow stones. The tourist board must love you in Oromocto. I was there, did a boxing event um. at the uh, Armed Forces base there years and years and years and years ago. First one in, corner guard, second one over curls the tap. Looking for a roll and won't get it. They got 975. Jeanette Weist quite a few years for okay. Becky, so she won't have a problem at the lead position throwing hits. I guess this week is an unfortunate example of why you need to be very careful picking your fifth mm. player because you, you think maybe they'll have a roll off the ice and that's how you choose them. And it turns out the illness goes through like it has this year. And these fifth players are being called to action a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. good. Good shot, Jen. That's good. Yeah. Good seat. Becky, uh, in this situation, uh, yeah, yeah, somebody girl. like a Jennifer Jones would go right around that corner guard, right. and yeah, that, so. I'll assure you, will not happen with Becky. Yeah, uh, so. Very defensive player, again, plays on very straight ice, and that's the mentality you have. If you can't bury around the corner guard, you've got to hit these. But it's interesting that she plays the corner. We'll see if it comes <laughs> into play, Lit if they get a chance to go over there, because if you rely on a hit and roll behind it, it's very oh, difficult yeah. to maneuver your way oh, over when the other team's trying to edge oh, you the other way. All right, let's talk a little bit about the kind of game plan these teams may have. It's brought to you by World Financial Group. Your dreams, our strategies. For Newfoundland and Labrador, they've struggled. I think they should play it open, hit as much as they can, limit the scoring as much as possible. They've given up a lot of points and a lot of steals so far. New Brunswick, here yeah, they make mistakes. You saw the mistakes in the first end. Accept the mistakes, but don't change things. You've got a last drop thrower who's on a roll. Yeah, you may give up a couple, but she'll give you a couple back by drawing the side of the pin. So just keep it rolling. Now, I'm just, I'm asking because you say stay with the plan. The plan for New Brunswick through the first four and a half days has been what? It, it was been a little up and down, but mostly closed down play. They actually have put more rocks in play and tried to get uh, their deuces. As I say, they've made mistakes in it, so sometimes it's a little hard to see that the plan is actually in action. But I don't think they should change what's happening, even though they have made those mistakes. Yeah, they're basically a low risk, aggressive team. Like the, this is a situation here. Uh, they hit when they could have drawn there. Now they just throw one up. If they get a mistake here on a, a miss on a corner guard, then they go around and get their two. Sometimes the Rocks have gotten into play by misses, mm -hmm. but Andrea has drawn the side of the button yes. regularly. Yeah. Her draw weight has been terrific. She's been a wonderful player all along, all through junior. They don't forget she's a, a skip of a Canadian junior champion. Uh, it's, you know, again, tough at this level to ice four players that can play at this elite level. Well, Kathy, let's begin our updates with Quebec against Saskatchewan. Quebec has, in the last couple of draws, looked very good. Five and three against Saskatchewan, four and four. And Marie-France LaRouche, her final stone on the way. Well, she's got a relatively wide open hit. You can see she's got three quarters of it. Michelle Inglot tried to roll, didn't quite get it under. Now, the brushing we saw earlier today from uh, Anne-Marie Filto and Emily Blay, terrific. And it pays off there as they're able to hold the line for their skipper. Quebec picks up two. I think one of the interesting things as we try to scout teams is a team that is 
prone to a few mistakes, if I can put it that way, is actually hard to scout because you can be watching it end and you see rocks in play and you some make some assumptions. But as I say, some of those things have happened because of a mistake. So actually, that's why New Brunswick has been a little hard to scout. They've played well, but they've made those mistakes that you're trying to decide, is that a weakness or is that just a one-time mistake? Mm -hmm. It's okay, I'll keep you on track. <laughs> Keeping you busy here, Kathy. Manitoba <laughs> against the Northwest Territories, Yukon. Mentioned earlier that Kerry Galusha seems to have the number of Jennifer Jones. She's certainly not afraid of her. Had a lot of rocks in play this end. Jennifer in her last one buried that great stone. She needs four foot, Vic, here against four. Yeah, she is. She's drawing against four. The team from Yellowknife, Sharon Cormier, Shona Barber, Wendy Miller, Little more, and that'll do for a single. And so the other thing I was going to say, if Newfoundland and Labrador follow my instructions and keep it a little open, it will actually be difficult for New Brunswick to have the kind of flow they've had so far where they were fairly conservative to start and then started to push when they had the opportunities. If they don't get the opportunities handed to them, we'll see if Rebecca is interested in doing it herself and forcing the issue by taking a little more risk. Because right now, Heather Strong's not going to have them yeah. looking at any rocks in play. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. It's worked out well, I think, for New Brunswick. I ran into Mike Babin at the uh, sure. Junior in Ontario yeah. uh, last week. And I said, who do you start with, Mike? And uh, he said, Manitoba, Quebec, Canada. And I said, good. Because uh, historically, Andrea and virtually anybody that comes out of New Brunswick on our straight surfaces uh, struggle on that type of ice so if you lose to Manitoba Jennifer Jones you lose to Canada uh, most of the other teams did too and then they uh, they managed to beat Quebec and then started on a roll and, and Andrea is very very confident right now good night girl let's throw Job, guys. So Andrea Appreciate Kelly you. makes her way down still throwing the fourth stone but uh, not skipping that is now of course Thanks. Becky Atkinson this was just a way, um, you know, it was good. I was joining the team, so it was a way for me to sort of fit into the team. And we just thought that, well, we just, like I said, we experimented and we thought that it was working well. Um, so, and, and she's, um, you know, she's in great shape and she's a good sweeper and she likes to sweep. And that's also, uh, you know, something that she's now bringing in, in that role. So, no, it's just what we thought would work best for the team this year. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Not for do you think she may be one of the most competitive uh, curlers in the province? Oh, number one. Absolutely, always has been. Very tough to beat. There's a lot of teams that have been awfully close to her, and, and you know, she's won a lot of provincials by a shot. Uh, but, uh, oh yeah, she loves to win, and she loves to compete. And uh, she tries everything she can. And I think uh, last year was so disappointing that she had a string of five and sixes, which, you know, is pretty good at this level. And then all of a sudden, three and eight, and uh, they had to do something. Paying off for her, it seems, uh, Linda. Well, if you look at her career stats over the last four appearances, she's been down in the numbers, an average of 73%. This week, we already mentioned just one percentage point behind the last two champs at 80% and at a 5 and 3 record. Really a remarkable change in the way she throws the stone and the way she looks on the ice. She looks like every time she steps in the hack, she's just not wanting to compete right to and be it. good at it. It's going to work for her. Right to it. Good. Shot. Very nice. You got it. <clears throat> Andrew's going to go, uh, looks like inside out. Surprises me a little bit. I thought you might uh, go with the out turn, runs a little bit straighter. This can get started and if you watch Andrew's delivery, the rock starts a shade to the left of the target here and comes across. So it usually curls quite a bit for her. Yes! Whoa, whoa! 
Andrea Kelly, former Canadian Junior Champion of 2005, final stone, and we'll get the blank here in two. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by World Financial Group. Proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. By Roll Up the Rim to Win. It's time for Tim's. And by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Wednesday night here at the NMAX Centrium, the 2012 Scotties, Newfoundland and Labrador. Heather Strong from St. John's opened with a couple. The blank in two means that New Brunswick once again will have the last rock. They have the hammer. Playing the Yellowstones here in three, and we've got something going. That's nice. It looks like a lot more. Line's nice. Five, six. Just a five. This game being played on sheet B. And earlier today, we were on this same sheet for our featured game, which was Quebec and Alberta. Oh, Quebec uh, winning 6 5. Yep. Yep. Finish it, guys. Yep. Finish it. Yep, yep, yep. As Stephanie really Korav nice. tries to wrap one around, but the game had to be stopped, Kathy Goje, once because, well, there was a hole in the roof. Well, there wasn't quite a hole in the roof, but there absolutely were drip marks. The team noticed it. The ice crew of Eric and Dave came out and scraped and tried to fix it. And then after the game was over, they asked the Century and folks from NMAX to go up on the roof. There was a lot of snow from what we had. It was sitting there, and that couldn't have been a picnic with that wind that we had. But they got up there, and they shoveled it off, and now it's fine, and they don't expect to have any issues. But the lesson is, if it snows, there'll be some shoveling on the roof. <laughs> Looks fine now here on Sheet B. Oh, nice job by uh, the ice crew and the people here at the Century. Was made for a very big pebble, is what it did. <laughs> <laughs> one you couldn't get over. That's right. Overcooked that one early. Just brushed it a little bit too soon. Yep. Speed was close. Just didn't get the line. Okay. So after peeling all last in, Newfoundland and Labrador put up the center guard. That's the come around and the one rock that is in the back of the button. That was an attempted freeze just yeah, now by New Brunswick. And this rock will be hit. This is Jennifer Cunningham on the opening weekend. Uh, her mom, Kathy, dad, Jeff were here, both uh, champions. And of course, Kathy making it to the final a few years back, but then they headed back to St. John's. They are both playing together in the Newfoundland Labrador uh, mix. I agree. Well, I no, I'm part of me. It's the seniors. It's the seniors. I don't think, the seniors. I don't think they're on the same team. No, you're right. No, you're right. They're both playing on the seniors. No, I was just going to let it go. You've been so good all week. I wasn't even listening to him. <laughs> Kathy, what do you. <laughs> <laughs> Jill uh, is good at these. She can throw a lot of weight. It's not like another Jill that we know. The second position. Straight back. Problematic because that uh, rock on the button uh, probably needs two tries to get rid of it. I have to remove the backing first, and Newfoundland and Labrador will try to make it difficult. Jill's guard out in front. They'll try and tuck in a bit behind it. If they're going to raise something uh, for in the case of uh, New Brunswick, uh, they want to be raising the yellow one, not a red one. Two. One and a half, two. Have room. So we showed you earlier the team from Yellowknife, Kerry Galusha, drawing against four. That was for a single, and now Manitoba. And boy, look at this. I mean, I'm thinking here, if you can make this little run back double, are you going to get more than one if you're Manitoba and Jennifer Jones, Kathy? Oh, for sure you are. She actually went back down to take a look at it. She was going to play a bump weight for two, but elected to play the big weight. 
Run it back and we'll lose the shooter. And now the one raised stone stops. Just two, I think, Vic. Yeah, top and back. Caitlin Laws having a look. Yeah, that's everybody's agreement. Two it is. Very nice. The uh, Jill's got a dip toe on her back foot there, and she kind of did the old uh, show up sideways delivery yeah, there for a while, but managed to recover and made a great shot. Like bounce that one. That's what all you could do is bounce that off the button, and now there's no protection for that other red. You need a rudder, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. It, it's also interesting when we talk about how the body moves because you have the dominant leg being the slider, and often that comes forward too quickly, and thus the hips go off square, mm -hmm. and then you have the dominant arm, in this case for the left-hander, the left arm, and that overreaches, so you've got sort of counterbalancing things happening, and often you see twisting, and then you add to it to the equipment issues. And so I wonder we can slide out there at all. <laughs> Sorry, it's just fastening. It's going a little faster now. Harder? It just speeds up a bit. Okay. Over to sheet C now, Kathy. We showed you Quebec got two in the first, and Saskatchewan is drawing against a couple. Michelle Englot from the Tartan Curling Club in Regina. For sure she is. Those two are lined up, but they're far enough apart that a double doesn't make a lot of sense, and it isn't without risk, and so she's playing the draw needs a full eight foot. Comes in with a record of four and four. And they're one of those teams that would love not to drop down to five losses. For the single, Quebec will have the last rock back in three and leading two to one. Another very nice shot by New Brunswick. They're struggling to get those rocks out of the four foot area and get some room to make a play themselves. Right now it's really just bailout shots. All four players on the Brunswick are good hitters. And like I said before, Jeanette's moved down from uh, third on her normal team. And they can throw a big weight and uh, it's, it's more just getting used to the okay. curl and getting used to the good sliding surface and the speed. And the, the draw weight uh, has always let them down in years past. We're down on his own. We're down there. Seven. Only line. We're eight. We're back eight right now. Just come on. Whoa, slow down. Whoa, slow down. Whoa, whoa. Sit. So you work sit, away sit, to sit, get sit, the rock sit, out sit. of the forefoot. Okay. Okay, Laura. Okay, Laura. We have at least a little bit of room to work now. And over on sheet A, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, the team from Charlottetown, Kim Dolan has the last rock. Won it in the draw to the button, but it hasn't been worth very much. Nova Scotia steals yeah. one in the first, steals another really one in the better. second, up to nothing. And a big game for Happy. Heather Smith Dacey from CFB Halifax. She sits at five losses. Doesn't seem like a lot of ice for that game. Pardon? No, I think it's good. I don't think it's her talking. First time down the outturn side. Just going to throw a soft uh, shot in here, maybe. Uh, Tap it a bit, Linda, with that ice. Kind of tap and roll maybe over in front of the other red one. The key will be Wait, to get enough of the redstone in the forefoot, though. And there is curl in that spot. So going back to what you said, Russ, talking uh, about uh, in your Brunswick schedule, they open with Manitoba, Jen Jones lose, beat Quebec, lose to the defending champions, then win-win against Alberta, big win, lose to Saskatchewan, beat Nova Scotia, beat Ontario. Now, when you look at the last three, based on record alone, you're playing a Newfoundland team that's at six losses, PEI is at six at the moment. Really, considering the way you're playing, you want to win those two and then take your chances against British Columbia. If you do that, you're looking pretty good. Looking really good. You know, that'd be seven okay, wins, and uh, that might be good enough for second place, the way this thing's shaking out, let alone uh, certainly a tiebreaker of some form, I would like to think. And, uh, and per British Columbia, by the end of the week, can they come up with four curlers uh, with all the flu bug going around? Yeah, did. You can do it.
Heather Strong will play a guard on that Eight. rock that's two on the half. edge of the button. Two and a half. I, let it work a bit, guys. Where? It's only, it's only two, two and a half. half. Two. Okay, let it work. Not going. Has to two. Kill a lot. two. Yeah, you gotta okay. go for the line. Go for top 12 then. Two. Right. You can. Okay, keep right, it going. You can get it, guys. Keep it going, guys. As far as you can. Go, go, go. Hurry, you're getting it. Go, keep go, go. Going. Keep it keep going. going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Every bit. Every bit. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Well, that's the trouble of playing a guard because, uh, as we know, there is so much curl out there. Those brushers took it as far as they could, but there's still room to get by. Not only is the line not perfect, but the fact that it's in front of the house gives you that extra time to get around it. Even if that guard's perfect, Linda, being that long, uh, Andrew's going to draw around it, try to score a deuce. It's not like she can blank the end, so she's going to have to try to be aggressive. Great opportunity here for New Brunswick now. pretty close this morning. So, like 405? I think a four. Yeah, I think four. four is good. You're given an opportunity Whoa, in and in, in, and this in, may be in, it for yeah, New Brunswick. Get across the nose, hold oh, just a little bit, yeah, got yeah, the yeah, flip towards the center line. Great shot. It's good. I'm not sure what all the panic brushing was about because mm. it seemed to be taking a very nice path and it had Sorry. lots of weight. They were calling out that it wasn't just draw, it was tap. I could have let it curl a little bit more. Becky ex expected that be a little less weight, and she called it uh, yeah, accordingly. Get, Just get, get by the guard there. Yeah. Now, the interesting with these fine shots where you're coming around guards tightly, uh, you've got a left-hander in the hack here, and this is uh, Heather's intern, which should curl a little more than Andrea's out turn. But she said she struggles with this. Well, it, it's different for draws and hits, oh. and this is an in-between shot. She All definitely right. struggles with the in-turn draws. It will go, it will go. Whoa, step oh. off. Okay, okay. No, no, no. No. And this has a ton of weight. Jenny and the will it catch Jenny enough? Got it, Jenny got it. Yes, so it does to push it out the back. Shooter rolls over to the job, edge Skipper. of the eight, job, and Not it's forward. one, two, three, four. Around the edges for Newfoundland and Labrador, and that's what's facing Andrea Kelly when she throws her last. And I was thinking, Russ, about interns being a problem for somebody. It's like golfing. You quite often hear a golf commentator, particularly Tiger Woods, on last week or the week before at Pebble Beach. He tends to block out his swing. Is that the same thing that you tend to block out? On an intern, you block yourself on the intern, whereas on an out turn, you're freer. Well, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, the out turn it is, seems to be more of a natural turn for most people, and the intern sometimes we we tend to start it a little bit. And I think that's what's happened to Heather on her draws, crashed on a few, but uh, it's it's definitely going to run differently because it's coming from a different hack, a, and it's also a different release at the intern and out turn. Needs full eight. Boy, oh, dig in fast, fast, fast. Not fast enough, it appears. Sure looks like a steal of one. It is steal of one for Newfoundland, Labrador. Want to win a two-year lease on a 2012 Ford Focus S? You can log on to fordhotshots.curling.ca and test your online curling skills. And for every participant at this year's Scotties, they also had a chance to win a lease on this 2012 Ford Focus Titanium by testing their on-ice curling skills. The final, a battle of skips. Newfoundland's Heather Strong against Northwest Territories Yukon's Kerry Galusha. And thanks to shots like this, the hit and stick right to the button. Galusha is your winner, winning a two-year lease on a 2012 Ford Focus Titanium. Don't forget to log on to FordHotShots.Curling.ca for your chance to win. And just like Kerry Galusha, you too could drive away in a brand new Ford.
Before we get back to our featured game, let's go over to Sheet C, check in on uh, Quebec and Saskatchewan. Quebec, Kathy opened with the deuce. Saskatchewan replied with a single, and now Marie Franz LaRouche and her last in three. Well, and she's got some pressure on her, has to draw against three. Michelle Engel tried to roll to the forefoot on her last one, did not get the roll, but she still does lie for sure two, maybe three. Prenda Nichols out to join Emily Blay and Marie Filto. And she'll drag it. They'll drag it to the top edge of the button for the single 3 1 Quebec. The game that we're watching here is on sheet B. And a mistake by Newfoundland and New Brunswick. And the final stone by Andrea Kelly. I'm weaving until I get it right. The, the draw was too heavy no, by Andrea ahead. Kelly, so it's a steal of one for Newfoundland and Labrador. And so once again, the team from uh, New Brunswick will have the last rock playing the yellow stones. Maybe when they're up doing that shoveling, Vic. You, <laughs> you could uh, join them. <laughs> It is uh, obvious. I owed you one. He called it weaving. It oh, is, uh, yeah, it is true. obvious. They've got the, I've got the <laughs> shovel out here. And I... <laughs> Three nothing, yeah. Newfoundland yeah. Labor. I suggested to you in the break, maybe yeah. this uh, New Brunswick team may be just a little nervous because we haven't focused on them except for that opening weekend uh, or that opening day, actually. Yeah, flying under the radar a little bit and. Let's face it, the last couple of games they've played opponents that haven't played as well, so they feel really confident playing in those two games. Now you're playing a team in Heather Strong that you know is a solid team, lots of experience, and probably fairly relaxed because they're in a position where it looks like they're out of contention. So, yeah, a, a lot of things are going on out there, that's for sure. This is a little bit back to my point, though. If they make mistakes, they do start to put rocks in place. So there was a center guard, a corner guard, Unfortunately, that corner guard got moved over now, so they'll try and come back to the middle. There are three reds in a row on the one side of center. Be careful where they place this. That triple raise sounds tough, but it's lined right up wherever this one stops. If it stops. Yeah, I think yeah. they were trying to be near center line right there, and there it goes. Well, they... Uh, this New Brunswick team, uh, Jill Babin, hasn't been well either. She's been suffering with the uh, flu, hasn't missed a game, but she's uh, suffered through the evenings and some games as well. And the one thing that does happen, whether it's illness or being nervous, Sorry. if you cannot control yourself and get back to the performance of the shot, the first thing that goes, in my opinion, is the feel. You can often slide out towards the broom and do a lot of things right, but you just don't have the same sense of how fast you are going. And we often see those rocks, if you're really tired, they drop short, and if you're just nervous, maybe they go long. I saw. Nice updates on the weight there. Yeah. You can try this. There's a little Kathy, over on sheet D, remember back in the first Northwest Territories, Yukon, Kerry yep. Galusha drew against four. Here she's facing a, a handful again. Well, three for sure, maybe four. Needs to hit this stone in the top of the forefoot on the nose because she needs to make the double and stick around to get the point. Uh oh, uh oh, and the shooter goes, and it's a steal of three for Manitoba. Well, what side are we hitting? This side. Just off nose. I think she's doing the straight. I think they've decided that it's foolish just to leave that little row there. So here comes the blast. Could be a little drag here. If they can get the drag hit it a little on the high side here, the second one drags the third one enough to maybe make that uh, shot rock go away. Jill has no, yes. no problem throwing it hard enough. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Just hit it dead on as opposed to on the side. And that didn't work out well. I think we hit center line side. That's good. 
it's just 12 foot. Okay, guys. Over on she day, Kathy, Prince Edward yeah, Island yeah. had the hammer right from the get go. Nothing going well, though. Nova Scotia stealing in one and two. But now Kim Dolan has a chance. She does. Heather Smith Daisy tried to run back on her first, just able to hey. peel the guard. And so Kim Drew, you see that buried stone on her first. And with the rollout, this is a draw for two to tie. Kim's daughter, Sinead Dolan, is there. Nancy Cameron, the front end, Rebecca Jean McDonald make up the champions from the Charlottetown Curling Club. Put two on the board. They're even going to four. Six inches heavier. That's by and Here's right where they wanted the it. And there. now so it's opening up to play the double more, if so they choose. You can run that bear. You can play that double. But I don't mind that double, but she just draws here. Yeah. Whatever you think. Trying to remove some enemy oh, rocks, turn, I think, right? Linda. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, I do too. It was interesting after the last one that was thrown by Jill, Andrea came down and actually seemed to be explaining to Becky about mm -hmm. angles yes, and yeah. maybe that the different <laughs> way to hit it, the way we were talking about. So Becky, remember, is still a young skip and is a little yeah. uncertain herself. Andrea didn't have that angle figured out. A little thicker would have moved a couple of reds into a better position. The worst part about that is knocked the uh, red in uh, for a third position over that one at the back now. So uh, Newfoundland Labrador sitting three. She said tight guard, right? Yeah. yeah. Three. That yellow stone on the right hand side as we look at it just by the Scotties. Does that come into play if the okay, comes three. down to a draw, an outturn three. draw for uh, them? I, I think it's wide enough, Vic. It's, okay. it's only protecting so the right uh, over, outer right half or about the middle of the 12 foot. So Just a draw three. to the four foot uh, should miss that. Okay. Still three. Over and off. Need it to over stop. Sit. 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 Good girl. Nice. Nice shot. That works. Still going. <laughs> well, it fills the hole. Jump them. All right, decision time, Linda. When do you go here? Do you avoid, you know, you make a decision, look at, I know they've got all those rocks out there, but we got to get in, and we're not cleaning them up very well. When do you make that this choice? Well, you need some room to get in there, and you don't want to leave a red one that can instantly be run back and block the way. So on third stones, you're still hitting. Well, Andrea Kelly putting on her uh, skipping hat here for sure. This rock is really not a factor. I wouldn't worry about it at all. It's the two in the middle, and you either you either run them this way and try to get something, or you run them this way and try to open it up and give yourself a path later. I think we're going to play that one. Let's go down there. I think we're going to play this one. Here goes, Becky. We just got to leave her a shot, right? Exactly. Well, they're going to have something no matter what. We just have to clean it up. Yeah, we just need to make a spot for Andrea. Feel. Straight up, Beck. It's a good call if you make it. You make the double and there's nothing in the uh, eight-foot area, but it does leave a red. You're going to roll away, obviously. It does leave a red guard in a very dangerous spot. Be tempting to hit the two reds. I definitely would make a play on that front red. Right. Right. As you said, either Not angle. Heel.
Andrea thought they had swept that to the perfect spot, but just misses it. It's funny, too, because she went out to the front, and often when that mistake is made is because you haven't lined up the angle mm -hmm. and then gone to the front stone and fixed on a spot, but she seemed to do all of that correctly. Still made the mistake. I like to come around. I like come around, too. Keep it high, if anything, though. Yeah. You just got to go eight foot. I think she's just trying to see how so she can block up the back. I like where you were. She, like okay. that. she might go around it. I'll try and get her two that way. If you follow her. Force is great. Yeah. I imagine she will. Let's try right? this floor. Yeah, I like that. Especially for a second, right? Yeah. Sure. This is where the yeah. game's really changed. You used to either top so that right red, here. which is dangerous because you'd well, open it up perfect. and yeah. give Andrea a chance yeah. to get oh, in there. You just throw another guard somewhere because you knew your opponent floor, couldn't yeah. bury it well enough that you couldn't get it out. But in this type of surface, a lot of teams get caught by throwing another guard here, and then the team, in this case, Andrea Kelly, just loops one right around those guards because there's like so much finish. That's okay. And all of a sudden, they have a chance to score two. So the best guard in this case yeah, is second shot nice, or yeah. first shot. And the other thing we've said, too, uh, Linda, is guards aren't easy anymore. Mm -hmm. No, guards are not easy. This isn't easy to get by. We've already seen a little rub, but uh, definitely the shot to play. And they have played it a couple times, so they should know where to put the stick. It's just keep this in front of the T-line. Line's good. Uh, Five. Six. 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 Just here. Kind of like right there. <laughs> Very nice. You can see what I was saying. It, 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 if and, if they'd thrown a guard, which is tempting, and Andrea had done that, uh, you've just guarded your only raise. Yeah, I should have. No, I should have. I didn't think the good news. Healed. I think just right there. Now, if she runs this back and cracks this the right way, get them both off the, uh, the forefoot? I think so. If you get about a third to half of that one that was just thrown, yeah, there's a great angle there. Actually, it's about a quarter of the one that's just thrown. You can definitely make the double, and the rock that's being raised in will also go. And one rock is higher than the other in the house, so you'll get some action yep. off of it. Just a tad off of center. Roll a shooter, Jeanette, if, if you can, if you have to. I'm not sure. Okay. Andrea Kelly and her first little bit of desperation here for New Brunswick as we... Play in the fourth. Run it back one and rolls it over and up. Leaves the shooters covering the center line. But it is still Newfoundland Labrador sitting two for sure, possibly three at the top 12. Got that one started. Uh, that is the tendency of her, a little out in and, and just didn't react the way she wanted. And sitting three for sure. Same thing, yeah, same, same ice. Same I'm sure Heather same Strong thing. is so thinking where were all these great draws and come arounds on the first few days because yep. quite often what happened to Heather was she had pretty good weight but the line wasn't there. She's figured out everything it seems tonight. We watched that with Marie Franz, didn't we? Uh, last night just uh, couldn't get it going, managed to just hang in there and win, but did not play well and then they were brilliant same this way. afternoon. Maybe. Same line. Bye, a little more. Wow. Okay, a little more. Oh, a little more room, oh, too. That can't means be it's deep. Up. That lets Are we Andrea right off the hook oh, here. It's up. Okay, it's gonna yep. be eight. Are we back, T? Yeah. No oh, call. let it work. Make a call, guys. Are we back, T? Yeah, we're. Yep. we're can we're back we go T back, eight? Yep. Yeah, we go. Okay, man, Stephanie Korab on the left, you Jennifer you Cunningham on the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laura Strong says, make a call, please. Let me know what's going on. And it went deep. Big mistake there. That's short of the rings. Andrea's got a problem. Guard that same path uh, short. Andrea has to play a raise against three, and uh, the speed wouldn't be a problem, but you have to get the right line, and uh, she'd love that one back. This almost makes it easier for Andrea. Still sliding, same as same, earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think that's why Laura was calling out, give me more information, because if they brushed very hard, they might have taken it out of the forefoot and at least made this so that there wasn't the same path to follow and the rock to come up to. So this is a draw against four. But the opening is there to use the backing. 
back four foot. Jeanette Murphy, Jill Babin. This is a big scrub for these two. Big drag. Got to get it by their own. Oh, no. She's going to crash in front and spill in and catch enough. But it'll be a steal of one, two, and three. Newfoundland and Labrador. New Brunswick not looking anything like a five and three team. Let's quickly go to Sheet C, Quebec against Saskatchewan. And uh, from that quick look, it was as if uh, Saskatchewan may be facing two, possibly Kathy. This is Michelle Englot, her last. Well, they actually took a long time to decide who they thought was shot. I think that they feel that it is not them. They looked at playing a double, but her shooter wouldn't roll in enough. And so they've just gone to the simple thing and decided to play the draw for one. Yes, go, 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 go. The simple thing. Yeah. Oh, there it is for one. It is. Thank you very much, Kathy. Look at this. Even Labrador opened with the last rock and then have stolen four points up six nothing on New Brunswick. And Jody DeSola is back, and we hope you're feeling better, along with their coach, Michael Babin. Spent some time in the hospital today, and treating those, uh, those muscle injuries in her chest. We're here at the NMAC Centrium on this Wednesday night, draw 14. Tomorrow will be the final day of round robin play. Well, we talked about New Brunswick yes. looking a little nervous. They are certainly not playing well. We can all see that with the way this score okay. is. That last draw, that was an outside in throw. It was light. And the one thing that concerned me, and we were just talking about, is when it wrecked on the guard, you were drawing against four, and you had to roll the shooter in to try and cut it down at all, and everybody just stood there. So it's like the wind has been taken under their sails. I mean, good heavens, if you lose this, you're still definitely in contention in this championship, and you still have to go out there and fight for every inch. Exactly. Good job. That's better now. What? That's better now. Wow. Manitoba up 5-1 on the team from Yellowknife, Kathy, and uh, it looks like from that angle, at least, the shot on the stone on the pot belongs to uh, Jennifer Jones, so she's sitting one as uh, Carrie Galusha gets ready to throw her last. And what makes this really tough, too, is Jennifer blocked off the other side with her hit on the last stone. Carrie played this shot on her first when she tapped the Manitoba stone, but didn't tap it far enough. That's why it's still shot. Needs to move it now. Shauna Barber, Wendy Miller called off. Sharon Cormier is uh, managing the house. Angle it back. Oh, not far enough. And it'll be a steal of one more. That one right there. Mine never run. I thought I was soft. Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Hard. Really hard. Hard. Yeah. Roll it right over. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. She made an adjustment and I made an adjustment. See ya. And we just want to correct the score. Quebec, Saskatchewan, as uh, Kathy just suggested, it was hey, the, uh, the easy way. Jen. The draw for the single point, 3-2. Quebec like continues to lead there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you have rocks in play. As I said, if you're in this event, you have to start fighting. So you've got some rocks, you've got to make some shots, but you've also Line's got tight, to show yeah. that fight to the yeah, other line. teams because you Where's certainly line? don't want to look like a team that gives line. up or people will Easy. take you differently when Easy. they go to play you. A little fortunate to roll on the roll yeah. after Andrea yeah. Rex to uh, save one more point. Yep, 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 yep. Hey, 
Okay. I do think uh, Andrew two. was a little soft on the release, that's and two. again, it's back. Uh, it, there's a lot of excuses for that playing on the straight surfaces that we do, but um, it also, okay. I think, added to the mistake was uh, Heather being left-handed, and uh, Heather's out turn will run a little straighter than Andrew's in turn, and it, she, they, they put the broom in the same spot, and yeah. I was scared before she threw it. Yeah, it looked like ice for throwing a tap, and then on top of everything, she was yeah. also light. Light, exactly. Chance to roll to the inside here. Four up, control. No, down. Four up, four Sometimes four as a skip, you can uh, you can smell blood. Uh, you maybe you can get the Brunswick Waller down a bit and uh, really put the nails in the coffin here. Good Lord, nice. <laughs> the way they're Dad, shooting here, they're using Maddie? a nail gun, Newfoundland like Labrador. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they played yeah, a great uh, yeah, last yeah. end. Wow. They did. Not like a guard right now. Same as this morning. Third stone. Becky oh, no. Atkinson. Judging with the brushers there, Andy was yelling line, but they stayed with it. They knew it was never going to have line and it's not going to get there. <laughs> yeah. They're running something in, they're running ours. Okay. Laura, you're better off here than high, okay? Three. It'll be interesting to see how this end plays yeah, three, out. My only concern in watching long. these first Sorry? five ends frozen is, is than long, as soon as said. New Brunswick caught okay, down, they started either. to throw the corner guard, and once again, that corner guard hasn't come into play. Uh, the come around made by Newfoundland and Labrador, then you're just playing the freeze. You're right. not playing a tap and roll. So if you're okay. thinking of generating three, extra points, of course, I'm not suggesting you throw the rocks on the house. You need guards, but maybe move that guard around a little bit, leave it a little closer to center line. Try to have a way to Three. use it, either hit and roll behind it because it's closer to center, or even to tap up. Or use it immediately. We see uh, Manitoba, Jennifer Jones do that a lot, and Dawn Askins is so good at it. She throws the corner, and then no matter what they do, she goes right around to dead buried. And then with a big lead like this, uh, Newfoundland has to think, whoops, they're going to have to peel that guard. And that gives you a rock in the rings right off the bat. Yeah, good job. Why did we do this? Yeah. Just nine five then. Okay. Becky, yeah, Becky. I hate to be bailing in this situation. I wouldn't mind just throwing a back ring weight here and double tapping those. You might put two in the rings. Uh, one could go behind that corner guard that you put out there yourself. Just just move things around. And, uh, you just don't want to lose the shooter. Heather's got the red slash if she chooses. She ignored it last time. She's trying to close down the scoring area on the left-hand side of the sheet first, maybe. Same spot. The one thing when you're playing a team that is down in the standings, it's a little hard to predict what they will do. Often they will be high risk because they don't really feel like there's much to lose. So you think, oh, well, they'll open it up. They're ahead 6 nothing. They may just keep coming at you. What's she doing? And why not? And that's what I'm saying. And in a no. way, why not? They, uh, and actually, they're playing very well with this type of plan. The other factor was so much curl is it's hard to run and hide. You, you can't, you're giving up deuces if you start hitting and uh, very difficult to control at an early lead like this. Well, if we can get there. Three. Oh, 
three, four. Four. Okay, more line than me. Three. More line than me. Four. We're four. We're in the house with five more. Five. Now, earlier you had Just your game plan, and one five. of the things you Just said, five. Linda, if you're New Brunswick, is accept your I'm mistakes sure and five. move on. Um, <laughs> it's tough for them. It is. Yeah. Oh, definitely is because they're making so many mistakes, tactical and execution. Oh, wow, and you look at the scoreboard okay. and you just think, oh, no. Yeah. No worries. No worries. Listen, that's not over. I think we got to play that. It's really thin, eh? What? Really thin? Really thin, did you say? Yeah. Whoa. What do you want, over the top, you mean? Well, I was thinking of hitting like half. That one might shoot here a bit, but. No, that's wrong. That uh, if Andrew hits less. half that yellow, it goes right to yeah, the sponge rubber. Yeah. <laughs> well, can we make that? Unless they're doing it with a hack weight, maybe. Well, that's yeah. what I was wondering. I mean, the only way to save it hard, isn't Russ to play that center line red back onto the yellow under red. Exactly. That would be the only way to get shot rock, unless mm -hmm. you go right it's around everything here between that one yeah. that was just thrown okay, well, in the yellow corner. You could can go this. into the four want, foot that way. Like a nine, five, or a ten. And maybe you want to make sure we keep this one around, yeah. right? You're getting like hammered that. right now. Maybe that's the way, Linda. Maybe you'd have to avoid. Forget about opening it, it up. Try to avoid leaving themselves uh, a run back. There's going to be something. It looks okay. like, but maybe you have to go now. You just have to leave. Yeah, that's one way of approaching it for sure. Not a good one, obviously. Well, <laughs> the problem is you're being very we, nice to well, me. I think the problem is that Andrea Kelly is struggling with everything. Remember, one of the steals was because she was back 12. This last steal was because she was Time. top 12 with her draw. So saying that Andrea Time. can wrap around Time. everything with a draw may not be realistic. So Mike. they're calling their first timeout. Good, we're good. Okay. And Babin. interestingly enough, yeah, he. he uh, he was like that the trainer in a in the in a boxing movie throwing the white towel and saying <laughs> I need to uh, I want to uh, talk to my fighter here. So uh, Mike Babin is called out in 90 seconds he has to try and figure something out. That's what I like. Yeah, but it's an easy shot for her to play. At least if I play this now I have an, a better have an option open. for a draw on my last. This is really hard. To stick that yellow. I think running the red one straight through the hole. Even if you catch a little bit of one of the top ones, you're going to get a little bit of 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 a little we could do it you nose. One yeah. No, this one might roll a hair behind that other one. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll wait. Like that. Kind of wait, you want to throw? Nine five? Nine? Yeah. My other thinking oh, was if we peeled like, this and got rid of like that, to she's gonna guard that. I think I like this, Andrew. We're going to be shot. Yeah, temporarily. Okay. I like so, going uh, on that, Becky. Okay. It looks like uh, Mike Babin is go going to go with or suggested your idea, right? Yeah. Coming through the center. Yeah. Not, I, now, interestingly enough, when the time was called, I don't necessarily think that Andrea agreed with it. I mean, she was in the hack and ready to throw, mm -hmm. too, and getting settled, and then she saw the, the big wave from down the okay, other perfect. end. Okay, straight up. I think Mike was quite concerned because that would have been an angle that wasn't going to work, let's right. face it. Yeah. And that was yeah. the third end in a row yeah. where they were looking at angles and having the wrong angle picked out. Yeah. So for the coach, that's hard to sit there. Yeah, I like now and now it's he was uh, he was standing on the table and throwing yeah. Jamie Corrab, the other coach around trying to trying to create some uh, but this is the only way I think this late in the end. There's only one shot left for New Brunswick. It's gotta come up yeah. right to the nose, yeah. right to the nose to run it through the hole. And that's it. it. It'll leave them shot, as she says, for the moment. To Mike's point, uh, Vic, was, was yes, they have a fairly makeable raise, but B, A, they have to make it, and B, and if, if she does, Andrea just has to now draw the eight foot. My dad calls timeouts. Good throw. They were hoping in Mike's defense to uh, hit it a little off center and uh, rattle it around and roll it somewhere else. Uh, 
you know, maybe a little to the uh, right-hand side. And, uh, you know, if that rolled a foot to the right, it'd be a tougher uh, raise. But uh, Heather can get this either way with the red uh, out turn or the double red on the intern side. But again, there's nothing in the danger zone other than you're drawing against three or four and you're six down. Yeah. That's the only, that's the that's only, the only real, small problem. But it'll be easy. <laughs> <laughs> Heather would like to try and leave something in this path. So it makes it a little harder. Well, now there's the danger here. They've got to hurry. They have to get it by the center line guard. Yes, they did. Now, did she move it far enough? Did she spill it far enough? Yes, she did. Just. Got it. Guys. Nice bit of brushing Sweet, by the Sorry, front I, end of Stephanie want, Korab and Jennifer Cunningham. Right there. If they do go. Well, yeah, Laura's overcurled there, but with control. Yeah. Okay, because it gets her. Oh my gosh. Yeah, great sweep, guys. Oh, it's overcurl. Wonderful. If they would had a curl, take that. But taken a little more ice, yeah. that's what yeah. they're no, talking they about, then the shooter would have blocked more well. of this hole as well, and it would have like, made yeah, it more difficult. That's what they're talking about. It does curl a bit in that spot. Yeah, Andrea, if, if that uh, rock was over a foot, as you say, Lindy, she'd have to go out by the sponge towel and uh, go right out to probably put the broom on the uh, side of the carpet to make the draw. This is a little simpler. Got to come through the hole against three. Through this exact same shot in the third end. Jeanette Murphy on the right, Jill Babbitt on the left. Found the hole, now needs to stop, and it will. Back edge to the four for the single point, New Brunswick. Took a while, but they're on the board. And the coach's timeout seems to have settled things down. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. Here in Red Deer, fans have come from all over the country to cheer on their favorite teams. And for many of this year's Scotty's competitors, their biggest fans are also some of the smallest. Last year, Sasha Carter had baby Evan with her on the ice. Now, 12 months later, it seems he'd like to be out there again, if only his dad would let him. Kelly Scott has a big, small fan as well, her three-year-old son, Nash. Six-month-old Hudson has been cheering on his mom, Lana Vey. And Manitoba second Jill officer has the smallest fan watching her, three-month-old Cameron. Well, at least when it's not nap time. Two-year-old Sydney has a busy few weeks ahead of her. Here in Red Deer, she's watching her mom, Carrie Galusha. And next week, her uncles, Jamie and Kevin Cooey, will be on the ice at the Briar. But perhaps the busiest mom is Saskatchewan's Roberta Materi. That's what happens when you have seven-year-old triplets. And by the looks of it, it won't be long until they're on the ice, too. There are 18 mums playing in this year's Tournament of Hearts, and all would love to lift the Scotty's Trophy. But if they don't, holding another precious item will feel just as good. And future curlers, yes, there are lots of them on the ice. When you think that uh, Marie-France LaRouche and her third Brenda Nicholas had their babies just three months apart. And then Sasha Carter, of course, is pregnant as well. And then Sharon Cormier, her daughter Megan. Well, Sharon's already a grandma. She has a grandson named Kobe. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? By Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. And by World Financial Group, proud to be a sponsor of the Season of Champions. Your dreams, our strategies. What a rough start for New Brunswick, who come in here among the contenders at five and three, trailing six to one. Not the best for New Skip from the Gage in Oromocto. Rebecca Atkinson, who is with Kat. Rebecca, how hard right now in this game with your team struggling to execute shots is it to call the game in an aggressive way? 
Um, well, like you said, we're missing a few shots, and the other team's playing really well. So um, we know what we want to do, so we just have to try to get a few more shots made, and uh, we're hopeful that it will go well after that for the next five ends. Do you build on the confidence of your record right now in the competition to do that? Sure, and we've had a long season of uh, games where we've had to come back from a deficit, so we know we certainly are capable of it. Good luck. Thanks very much. I don't know if I want to look at these numbers if you're New Brunswick. Well, they're not that lopsided when you look at the bottom line, but boy, is that 10% shown up on the scoreboard. But you look at Heather Strong at 93%. Definitely Newfoundland and Labrador bringing their best game of the week. And it is a struggle so far for New Brunswick. Andrea Kelly missing a lot of draws. She's got to pick that up. The numbers after five are brought to you by Tim Hortons. It's time for Tim's. It's time to get back to it here. Six and six one. You can land Labrador leading, and they do once again have the last rock. The team from St. John's will have the hammer playing the red stone. Hurry, finish it. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And the other challenge is, as Russ and I were just chatting in the break, and you look at that scoreboard, you can't just say, we'll give them one, we'll get two, yeah. and just sort of cozy along you yeah. have to think a little more aggressively that's exactly that. what yeah. Rebecca Atkinson okay. has done here she's yeah. thinking steel put up the two center guards but unfortunately that nice come around by Newfoundland and Labrador is on the edge of the button so somehow you have to better that one yeah the 2-1-2-1 uh, two, one, two, one program that's isn't really it's like going to have to be more like 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, oh, one program and still a lot of time yeah. mind you and uh, job one is to get the steel there's a couple guards out there now too, unfortunately for New Brunswick they're staggered and they have to go to get this by. There's no speed in this one. Well, you're already on the front. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa, whoa. Sorry, whoa. Okay. Well, it's like we're looking at two different Quebec okay. teams, There's Kathy. Yes. Because they seem to have found something last night against Team Canada where they came back to steal a win. Then today looked very impressive beating Alberta. And here against Saskatchewan, yes. who is this Marie Franz LaRouche? Well, she's somebody that's figured out the ice, that's for sure, Vic. She's got a chance for a couple here, for sure two, maybe three if she pops this right. And, oh, look at that little spin back. That'll be good enough for two. And a 5-2 lead over Saskatchewan. First shot. Questionable call there. Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, you're up a million. You've got Hammer. You can open it up. But they had uh, Andrew Kelly dead to rights there. There was no way of getting in there for a while. You you could stay on the gas pedal. And... Whoops. Yeah. Kept the slider under her and eventually got it back under as far as the throw goes. But, yeah, I was very surprised. I had said that it looked like Newfoundland and Labrador were just going to go for the gusto, put all the rocks in play, and guard the heck out of that shot rock. And now they have raised one of the yellow ones in. Because there was no way in uh, originally that all the guards were stopping all the guards, and he had one right in the perfect spot. Uh, unfortunately for the uh, Newfoundland team, they've not only raised one in, buried, but you've opened it up to some degree in the game on here now. It's tough to go away, though. You're up five. You've got the hammer. It, it makes some sense to uh, eliminate those front rocks. No, it's good. No, it's Where? Good. Yes, there's five. Find it. Where? Box six. Yes. Five. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, you're bouncing. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Roll off, roll off. I'm not sure what Joe was so upset about. Uh, the rock's in play. It's... It's going to be a little bothersome for the opposition. She looked very upset. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure why either. Doubles available could be dangerous. And she team Manitoba up 6-1 on the team from Yellowknife. And uh, Jennifer Jones sitting two top eight. Kathy? Well, and she had a glimmer. Carrie Galusha did have a chance this end, but Jennifer made a double on her first, and so now Carrie faces the double to kick any points. And won't, oh goodness. Could have been worse, could have jammed that at the back. It's still bad, it's a steal of one, 7-1. I don't know if it's curling and then the weight's coming off of it. I don't know. 
Well, it looks much better now if you're yellow. Do you want me because, to? Uh, because thankfully, Nathan and then a Labrador have opened it up and now My, peeled the guard all again. All mine are curling like it's not yeah, rocks. Yeah. What are we doing? Let's go back. What are we doing? You got this. Two. Perfect. Same speeds. Jill was complaining there uh, to Jeanette about her rock, so maybe she thinks it's a little slower. When she let it go, they yelled heavy, and she turned around, and then all of a sudden it ended up just about right, so I, I, I'm not sure. Big scrub oh just to get it over the hog line. Over enough, over enough. Nicely it's done. Too Jill Babin and Jeanette Murphy. Did it do anything though? Good. Uh, yeah, I think it, you certainly can't put any weight at the buried rock. Uh, Good sweep. What happens if we go in like do something on that yellow there or we can we can just off nose the yellow and get them both pretty easily. It's just do we do it yet? Because there's still two guards off. I think we still might want to take the guard. Because they're the, yeah, uh, the good call. Eventually, though, we just heard if you keep peeling, eventually uh, Kelly's New Brunswick team's just going to tap that set three, and uh, you don't want to prolong that too long. If Kelly's going to do that, you better let her do it now and uh, give it some chances to get out of there. As you always say, it's all about the timing. Yeah, it's kind of a strange end. It's, yeah. it's like each team is doing the opposite thing to what we think in this game. I'd be itching to play that double myself and uh, take out the two enemy rocks. You'd be sitting shot rock buried. Yes, it's a long guard, but it's a long guard for you, too. This is what you're trained to do, though. You're, you're about hammer. You want it to open up for your skipper. This is Laura Strong. Good throw. Shot, Laura. You could play a tap freeze here. You made it really good. You'd have a wonderful chance of stealing a point at least. Would you throw the guard again, Linda? Or? No, I wouldn't. I would come in. As I just said, it seems like they're doing the opposite to what I yeah. think in both <laughs> cases. Might see Heather play the double now. Not really sure whether they're not taking more ice okay, if they're trying back. to get that guard over a little bit. Sorry, I should have left that a little bit. Good knock, good rock. Nice. Well, we had to sweep it to leave, get it out a little bit. Yeah. I guess I mean I thought it needed. Not bad where it ended up. Yeah. I know there's lots of things happening and they're down on the ice and there's lots of pressure, but as a coach, I often say, I would love to know what they're thinking because poor Heather's standing there and you know something's churning in there as to the options she's considering. Yes. We'll say anything, let's just look let's at run that. What's that? Let's run the, the double peel. Yeah. Yeah. It's the danger with the yellow double is if you miss it by a fraction, you run your yeah. yellow onto the shot rocker of yours and uh, now it's a chance to yeah. sit a couple buried. That, that would definitely be the danger. Sorry. Another thing they just looked at is uh, hitting third shot and just rolling a little bit. That's an excellent idea. Where's our rock going? I don't know if I like the shot. Roll an inch or two, you're perfect. Mm -hmm. well, like a hit and flop, I don't mind either on that one. The top one. The problem is if we hit and flop, they just yeah. hit the up. No, I like the call. Yeah. Yeah. No, I like the call. Yeah. Let's keep it simple, eh? Yeah. Run the uh, yellow uh, to the left hand side of her screen, which could hit the second yellow. He'll wait. Yeah. Checking in on She Day, and Prince Edward Island has come back after falling behind 2 0 to tie. And look at the pressure now on Nova Scotia and Heather Smith Casey. Now, the only thing for Heather is that it is a wide open shot, but it is against three. Last year's bronze medalist out of CFB Halifax and has uh, struggled mightily this week here in Red Deer. 
for the single to take a 4-3 lead, sitting at five losses, and certainly realizes she cannot afford any more. Well, she's going to guard. No, I know that. Well, she probably won't guard. It has to be perfect. Yeah. What it meant was, like, you try to tap on some sort of angle. I like that. It's hard. It is hard to come off across it, right? So maybe we do play it with a little more weight then. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with bumping it, like, to there. Uh, I don't like bumping it just to there. What do you guys like? I like this now. Like, n hit, right. wait. Yeah. Tap freeze. You can move the red tap, back a little bit. Too, right? You can just plain hit it. Uh, okay. Replace yeah. this one with the yellow, and your your second yellow hopefully would roll into this type of area. I don't think you can guard at this point in time. They discuss that for a second. This yeah, lead in the end, and Henry's only got one more after this. You need to make a move now, I think. Just decide how far you want to move that red one. Do you want to freeze to it? Do you want to bump it a foot behind the T line, or do you want to bump it right out? I'm not gonna go. No. Can you do a tap freeze? Like but I don't know. Whatever you guys like. I think the only part of the discussion of the tap freeze was she wasn't sure how to get there. I like there. the tap mm. freeze. I think if we play it, we play it this way. Do you think? No, I think it's almost impossible to get there. Well, it's not impossible. Yeah, but that's true. We should, no, we should be able to make, I mean, we want to be on nose of that anyway, so that one shouldn't the be an issue. Tap freeze is good. Yeah. Because so what kind of weight? Just uh, seven, eight? Just here, though. Oh, I like tap. It's okay yeah. if we tap it behind our own, too. Let's make yeah. her All right, make let's the go. shot. Then if she does, even this if should we, be a shot for us, right? They've gone to the tap well, freeze, tap which is my favorite seven, option. Yeah. And they've decided to use this turn, and Maybe it makes more sense because like you have one. to hit it a little on, on this side. If you go with the other turn, this guard really gets in the way. It's tough. You could end up over curling here. So I think they picked the right turn. I think they picked the right shot. Perfect. You like this too, Linda? Like oh, I do. Yeah, I agree. That, that discussion of not sure how to like get there, I think that was the only thing holding them back yeah. at first. I think they all liked it as well. Um, you gotta go. Andrea oh, Kelly in and her you first. Want, Boy, did she pull the string on this, get it going? Because she called on them right away. Babin and Murphy. Huge oh, scrub yes, here. Yes, T R. Yes, hard, 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 hard. Nice, Andrew. Nice, Andrew. Very nice. This one first. Yeah, like that. So we're going for the double, but yeah, rolls okay. Yeah. It's Pardon? interesting yeah. because double. Yeah. I think. Many would Double. think that you would play to be shot stone if you mm -hmm. are uh, New Brunswick. You would have right. liked to have pushed that red back. Exactly, but in this case, uh, they have the luxury by being down so many of knowing what Heather uh, will do for the Newfoundland team. They don't want to uh, give up a steal here at all. So even though Andrew hasn't made a move on shot rock, Heather has to play a defensive call with so many yellow in play. It's not like it's not like Heather's going to guard this one, Vic, and hope to. Uh, to get a mistake is if that would be suicide because Andrea could angle one in and sit three buried. So she has to make an aggressive move here and she can play the double and try to sit right there. That will then get An Andrea a raise. Double. Heather Strong and her first. She does have the last rock. Oh, and that now has moved things around to where New Brunswick is sitting the one top four. Comes off her own, but did it like so that. thin that the rock didn't slow down much on this first one or the second one? It kept on going, but that's not all bad for Newfoundland. Yeah, now there's two reds in the house, and you've got New Brunswick scratching their heads a little bit about what <laughs> to do. Back, but I feel better about making yeah. a double like that on the side. Well, yeah, we could leave her a double that way too, though. Yeah, yeah we well. have the guard. The dreaded guard on swingy ice. Miss the guard, you could be down 9 1. And how many have they played this end that have actually overcurled in every case? Yes, yes. Taking quite a bit more ice, I think, this time, almost five feet. 
Let me ask you something. I again, I'm having a bad night. I think maybe I would. Could you play the takeout on that stone that's in the eight foot? Come off it and onto your own, and yep. maybe sit on top of it or sit close yeah, to or, it. Sure, Vic, so that you're sitting too. Yeah, or even tap it maybe undercover a little bit, and at least you d eliminate a big score. But I think Andrew's looking at the scoreboard saying we we cannot give up another point here. Over on sheet C, Quebec, Saskatchewan, Quebec pretty much in control here. And what, sitting two is she? She's sitting one, Vic. This Thank is a you. chance for two. Michelle froze on her first one, but Marie France made a hit and roll to shot. Michelle can almost use another Quebec stone as a catcher. Michelle Langlock, Saskatchewan champion, Tartan Curling Club, Regina. I think you try it. There, but I think. One for sure, they're going to take a look. No, they're going to kick him away, so we'll wait to see what the indication is. One for sure. Two. Did she? Thank you. Your eyes are so good. Nice card by Andrea, and it, it kind of forces Heather to either a, a soft come around tap, which is there. It's not easy, but you could tap it maybe back into that area, score at least one. She's going to try to throw a bullet off her own rock here, come down with the her intern. Like this. Spin it across and try to move that yellow as far as you can. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty thick. Uh, half a rock, I think, was right underneath. So he has to hit a lot of this rock, therefore needs some speed. So looking for a possible deuce here. Yep. Yep. Hard. Yep. Hard. Hard. Final really stone hard here in low. six. Yep. Off one, move it over and out the side for two more. Newfoundland and Labrador. Well, in a game that they have dominated, uh, Newfoundland Labrador, this is just one of their many key shots. Well, Heather could throw a lot of weight when she needs to. She needed to hit about half a rock, needed some speed to jump it across, but she made this look easy. Exactly in the right spot. The yellow flies out for fun. Another two and uh, eight one lead. The key shot is brought to you by Scotty's facial tissue, stylish designs for any room. Let's update on what's happening between Manitoba, Northwest Territories, Yukon, as they play in the sixth. And it uh, looks like Manitoba's got pressure on again here. Jennifer Jones, four time champion, Kathy. Carrie Galusha, her last. Well, Carrie Galusha tried to play the other side of the house and pick out the shot. Stone on her first went right through a hole that didn't even look like it was there, touched nothing. Jennifer plugged it up, so she does need a piece of the hearts for one. Lots of pressure tonight. Okay, Galusha, got a curl. Got a curl. Wendy Miller, Shauna Barber. Got a curl. With the brush now. Whoa. Need the button has it. T line, very nice draw. Seven two. Manitoba will have the last draw playing seven. That's what you like to see. Just a beautiful draw. Not giving up. So our featured game, Newfoundland Labrador in control, up by seven, leading eight one over New Brunswick as Newfoundland looks to play spoiler against the team from Oromocto. So we are going to go right next door. And check in on Quebec and Saskatchewan. Quebec at five and three, playing the red stone. Saskatchewan four and four, playing the yellow. It is five four. Quebec leading here in seven. Saskatchewan just got two to make it close. And here in this seventh, it is Quebec playing the red stones that does have the last rock. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay. We know it. And we already we talked it. about Quebec and the fact that we've seen two Quebecs turn up. A great Quebec team earlier today and one that really struggled for most of the game last night. I guess Saskatchewan's a little bit of a head scratcher Six, too, seven. sitting with a record of four and four. Oh, yet, eight, if you talk about shooting percentages, they're good. the number Line, three team and not good. far behind the top eight. two. Line's good. Right to it. We're eight. there. We're there. All there. Just to it. All there. It a nice come around here. No. An over curl of anything. Yeah, that one's weird. <laughs> we talked about yeah. that stone wow. might have a bit of a sharp edge. Kind of 
kind of funky. I've never Hello, written that Lee. in my rock book. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that one means. <laughs> Why? No man. Well, being more of an Avril Lavigne fan as you oh, are yes, now, of yeah. course, you would yeah. use funky. No, I'm too com I'm too complicated. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Funny how you know one song now, and you're gonna yeah. you're gonna use it to death. I'm milking it. <laughs> Saskatchewan sitting too, but they are both open. Quebec trying Nine. to find a way to Nine. get a deuce. You could play the easy double, but that would leave your Quebec rock wide open and allow Saskatchewan to hit and roll buried. So I think Marie Franz is going to hit the shot rock and softer weight and try to roll buried. As mentioned, this has been a dramatic Whoa. turnaround for uh, this Quebec side, Linda, when you think about where they were and the inconsistencies, and we use that a lot when we talk about the game. But they found something last night, and it's carried over today. You know, it's funny, because we did talk last night about how poorly they were playing, but how impressed I was with the way they maintain their determination to make the next shot better. That's what I always say to the team I'm coaching. If you make a mistake, make the next one better, work harder, all those sorts of things. They kept doing that. And it still looked like it was a terrible struggle right until the ninth end. The will to win, eh? Yeah. It's, it's tough. You can't really teach that. It was a wonderful display of uh, patience. Oh, and right through the hole by Landa Bay. Oh, oh, but worse again. Look what got ticked into the house. That's brutal. Quebec Stone just biting the top of the 12. Okay, you could make this shot if you tried it a thousand times. Ticks it right in the rings, right through the hole. Chance to sit three with hammer. Yeah, wait, it was 10. Sorry. That's okay. Brenda Nichols. Emily Blay is on the right, yeah. and Marie Filto on the left. Hit whoa, whoa. and roll it away to the edge of the eight. And remembering now, Quebec does have the last rock. They have the hammer here in this seven. Okay, so I can't find. Okay, I'll come a bit forward. What a nice position for Quebec, and now it's a, a desperation shot for Michelle Inglot. She needs a roll. Get the flop, hey? Flop your way, Sarah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Michelle's a wonderful hitter, always has been. A little bit different release, but she seems to know where it's going, and that, that's, that's more than half the battle. She's 96% on takeouts. You see her overall average because her draws are a little yeah. lower. Yeah. 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 Close. Looking yeah. to flip in behind the stone top edge of the 12, and it'll flip and spill too far. That was a lot of weight, and that is one thing uh, I think Lana struggled with. You forget when you call big weight how much of the rock you need to hit to get the roll. Obviously, you need to hit less and less as you pull the weight back, and that one was going to roll a long way. Oh, hit too little to get in behind cover. It's always interesting to watch Marie France because we often talk about this turn. 
Now she's wide on the right, and she slides a little left and puts it back. So you'll have to watch her carefully with her release, and that's why she brooms so tightly in that spot. Just light. Her first, and right away you can hear Brenda Nichols calling yes! on the yes! front end of Blay and Pilto. Yes, 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 yes. Going to get the flip back the other way. Yes, she will, and it'll spill to the center line, back edge of the four. Once again, Quebec sitting three. Very smart to roll that far, Linda, right in behind that corner guard would have been a problem. Now, if you freeze, it's wide open to blast it out of there. Oh, it's a big decision now. In a very close game. What do you do? So they're bringing in the coach. See if he has an idea that he can dream up. Dwayne Mahalitz will make his way down. We got to know Dwayne last year at the m and Meat Shops Canadian Juniors when he coached uh, yeah. Braden Muscawi to the men's championship. And Braden has moved on to men's play in Saskatchewan, actually made the Saskatchewan men's playdowns this year. Decision time. Yeah. What do, what do you think? We can make the hit and roll freeze with probably that board weight, eh? But yep. you can't make it with big weight, but you can probably make it with board, do you think? To get the little bit. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Normal probably too much to get it real good, right? Yeah. So you think? I think so. I think it's too early to give her a Too early to give Yeah, or just throw a straight freeze. Three right now isn't great either, right? Like no. Three is never good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know the line for that, Lana. So it's what we played a couple ends ago, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah. What Dwayne talked about was coming down this way and throwing a soft, a soft weight uh, hit and flop, You're limiting one rock and maybe getting lucky here. It's not a bad idea because if it, if it, you hit it at a different angle, it might come over and, and end up in that area, and you might actually uh, at least force Team Quebec to reduce, but uh, they're now going to try the freeze, and this freeze has to be absolutely perfect. Any little angle, this side, this side, it's a really easy shot to remove. 75. But I mean, here's Michelle Englot, Linda, confident, you know, said to Lana, we've played this, I know this, so I'm a little curious that she's going to go this way with that stone top 12. It doesn't really matter, Vic, with that stone. I'm assuming we've just come to this sheet of ice. This is the turn she knows best. Lion's good. So this is the final stone Lion's of the good. end for Saskatchewan. Yes. This is a freeze against three. Lion's okay, just for Lion's really good. Eight. Make it go. Sarah Sloka, on, Roberta really Materi, trying to drag oh it down God. and oh put it on the face, oh and we'll get there, but just tap it back. Oh. Why should do the line, huh? Nice shot. Well, it was going to overcurl a little bit. That's where they were brushing it. The freezes are really tough. We talk about guard positioning being difficult. But with the late finish, no, no, even if you think you're anticipating yeah. the curl with both the position of the broom for the ice and then the brushing, it's that finish in the house that often costs you the perfect angle. What a turnaround this and that little tick by uh, Lana. Tick redirected to the smallest hole ever, and not only that, chip one in, and they've been in trouble ever since. And uh, she gets by that guard by an eighth of an inch more. Uh, she's hitting two. Big, big turnaround. That looks in. Just want to keep you updated on Prince Edward Island and uh, Nova Scotia PEI picked up a single in seven, tied with Nova Scotia at four. This is another one where she's taken very tight ice. A little left and puts it back. Normal. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. oh boy, jump on him. Yeah. Phil Toe, play. Yeah. Nichols calling line. Jumped on him. Squeeze it out. Yes, they do. 
They'll lose the shooter, but pick up three. Three. For Beck. Making a run late in round robin play. You can't watch a movie or the Oscars without popcorn. Billy Crystal returns to host the 84th Academy Awards. Begins Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern on CTV. Filled my bucket, fellas. Thank you very much. <laughs> They're you doing can, some they, for they, us. You have to share. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Extra butter for Linda. Yeah. <laughs> Quebec gets three and now lead 8 4 over Saskatchewan. Interesting, you know, at this time of the week, often think you're in a position like Saskatchewan. You come in at 4 and 4. You make decisions. They're decisions not I only for the game, watch. but at this point of the week, could be, in fact, for. The ultimate future of your team in this competition. I mean, it's you're at this point in time. Oh, no, definitely with the record these teams have, yeah. for sure. One, one throw, one call, anything yeah. can change the whole course of this event. And look how uh, close that was to being a good shot for Saskatchewan to give up the three there, and just an unfortunate rub of the guard there. What I like on those ones where you determine your fate, I, I might have played that little hit and roll that uh, Dwayne suggested, but the whole team agreed. Mm -hmm. yep. You don't want to come off the ice and have somebody pointing a finger and saying, That's but nice. I didn't want to do it. They all agreed, and that was what they were going to do, and they made the best effort to get the shot in the right spot. Our first final and Manitoba has won over Carrie Galusha and the hug from Jennifer Jones to Carrie because these two have had some wonderful games in the past and of course uh, Jones has sometimes been on the losing end when you think back to 2009 and then 2010 in fact the win by Galusha over Manitoba in 2009 that win helped Galusha's team to be named the Northern Sports Team of the Year right, in our country. And one more time, we will say that Kerry Galusha got off to such a wonderful start. She won what? the Hot Shots contest, her first game. Oh, yeah. She was terrific. And then the flu bug hit, and we mm -hmm. feel so sorry for her. So Manitoba goes to a 7-2, and two, and with that win has clinched at least a tiebreaker so they are into the uh, the playoffs the peeling is just a little more difficult when you put yours in the middle as uh, those two red stones are you can't peel from the wings you have to peel from the center and we do yes! know how much it curls in this spot this is Emily Blay. You sometimes wonder with a four-point lead if you need any rocks in the rings, and then you can peel the what we call the short way, where that particular rock hit and rolled about eight feet, but it's still in play. If you had no rocks in the rings, you could peel it the other way, and you only have to roll a couple. And now you look at it, you have two rocks that they're going to play with. Yes, they have to somehow rearrange them because they're near the button and on the button. But now you have two guards out in front for them to work with. Just a five pick. One's good. Yes. Hard. Hard. Okay, straight. Straight draw. Little to that now. Yeah, we need them. That's okay. good. Roberta Materi. Will rub and roll to the T line, eight foot. What we're doing is the double peel. 
Double peel or single peel, you need to move something out of the way. I like to hit about a quarter of this to move the red straight back into the rings. If you hit about half the uh, yellow, you might stick it on the red. And it looks like very tight ice. Yeah! Good throw. Very well done. Brenda Nichols. They're actually throwing these upweight mm. shots very nicely. They're running very true, straight, not worrying about the curl. Good throw. <laughs> you know us. 75? It's probably about the worst spot you could have put it. That's a beautiful freeze, but the, there it is. Left, <laughs> left the uh, the reds angle that they're both going to fly here if you hit it right. Half a rock. Both yellows go. Nothing yet from Phil Tolwer play. That was an outward motion on the hand. Yep. yep. And oh. it'll go across the top of the Saskatchewan stone. Much better pocket now for Saskatchewan to sink one in, in between the two rocks. You know, sometimes it, it's easy to see, Linda, when uh, a thrower like that, because it's 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 so obvious. It's like an explosion of the hand, right? And yeah, you can usually see those yeah, ones where they good. wow it out a little bit. And I think that was just trying to make Mine's sure good, you guys. made the shot instead of just yeah. thinking about throwing it again. Oh, nice looking rock. It's a perfect line. Get that one out. Well, Lana wasn't very happy with her uh, first, and we you could see that and read it on her face, but this one she has to be content with. And what makes the most sense here is throw it as hard as you can and, and basically try to get a good chunk of the yellow to get rid of the yellow. This way, your red rock, when it hits the yellow, will bounce this way, moving this one across a little bit. And that will free this rock right here will be gone. And then the yellow is then removable. Just about half a rock should do it. Lots of speed. We've come to this game late, of course, after starting with Newfoundland, Labrador, New Brunswick. What do the numbers look like, Linda? Well, Mich Marie-France LaRouche is playing very well at 81%. Look at the number of hits. If you recall last night, I said that was the key to success for her. She plays them very well and likes to play them. And the unfortunate thing for Michelle Englot is the draw weight. And if you're going to come back in the game, you're going to have to nestle a couple more draws in a good spot. 
player numbers are brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? I do. Okay. <laughs> time. So, at this point in time, this point of the event, they'll make and take their second time out. Allow two 90 second like, time. Do we need out. to tap? Will she guard? Will she guard if we hit, if we go to it? I think. I, I don't think Blossom like tapping is going to do us much good right yeah, now. Yeah, I know. Gotta make it a pick. We don't have enough room to roll behind those. Nina, do you want to getting off that five? But that's not there. What's on? She just no, yeah, no. I'm, to get, I'm thinking we can get behind these two, and then we can blast and go past it. But uh, I think you almost got to freeze, freeze again. Yeah? Freeze on it yeah. and hope either she misses a guard. Is there enough or... room? Uh, there's not enough room to freeze on this on the side of the I think we got to freeze right on the top of the yeah. no, on the no that you hope, that, uh, hope that we have to blast yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Meanwhile, Camille LaRouche is out and talking with his daughter and their team. So what was the decision for Saskatchewan? I think they're going to throw the freeze right on top. Uh, hoping Quebec didn't hear their timeout. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, and uh, have Quebec blast away, and then that would leave at least one uh, Saskatchewan one rock on the button shot rock, and then you guard it for your life and try to steal a point. Uh, they, what they were worried about, and rightly so, if they aren't shot rock, uh, will Quebec just guard everything and uh, guarantee their point? these you have yes. to try and get them lined up properly so this is great communication needed between the brushers and the person in the house running oh. line's perfect so just going to slow down in time don't want to bounce it open leave a hole yeah. nicely okay. done <laughs> Nice shot <laughs> It really all hinged on the fact that the first yellow got into a nice spot. As long as you don't bounce off it. Slam the guard back. Things are lined up. Yeah. This guard is put on properly. Is there a red triple there? If you hit the uh, middle red as thin as you can, your shooter would stay for sure off the side catcher. I think it's there, Linda. Emily Blay thinks she's seen something. Time out being called now by Quebec. Well, we started with this game this evening, Kathy. Newfoundland Labrador took an 8 1 lead. New Brunswick got two back in the seventh. Now, final stone on the way for Heather Strong out of St. John's. She's facing two stones. Andrea Kelly put both of those there herself. Great draw, wait. And it's going to be a steal of one for New Brunswick. Chipping away here. Down by four with two to play. Ouais, mais faut que je pense que ça se peut que ça pousse là, tu sais. Si je fais aller freeze là, c'est pas les, c'est pas facile là, tu sais. Ouais. Mais pousser, c'est pas mauvais. Ouais, mais ce que je veux voir, c'est que si je viens ici, si je la tape là, 
Elle, d'après moi, elle frappe là-dessus. Ça va faire tout à Puis peut-être qu'elle peut venir chercher elle. Là. So the question is, can you do the tap yourself and leave a red shooter in place so they can't get three? Yeah, you could simply peel a yellow, and uh, of course it would uh, run the yellow into the reds. It would be a free draw for two, but that's not all bad with a four-point lead. I just wonder if that shot is there, if you could just actually come down and hit that incredibly thin with peel weight. Bounce it over enough just to get the back side of that rock and move it out this way. It doesn't look like it's there. But... It looks like the yellow might be in the way. Yeah. I think the only question was, do they want to put a guard up there and leave the potential for something else? Or do you bring it in, draw top four was the one suggestion. And another suggestion was to try to tap and leave the shooter in place. So. And what is the decision? Well, the ice looks like a draw to me. Je l'ai retenu, je l'ai retenu. Yes, line! Yes, line! Yes! Yes, line! Yes, line! Yes! 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 Can you get everything moving, though, if you bang that yellow on the top? I don't think so, Vic. I think uh, the... No, the, uh, it's not bon. eh, Maybe you can. If you hit it into the crotch of that uh, yes, red yellow... Yeah, I think you're right. You're absolutely huh? right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little off-center. You might lose your shooter. Just enough to kick that. Yeah. Marie Franz and her draw weight. Mais oui. Since we watched yes. since last night. Oh, Exceptional, really? isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Today, so all day, has been yeah. terrific. I wonder if she yeah. had a bad stone last night or something, you know, that uh, okay. just couldn't find the feel. Hard. Fairly hard. Peel. Well, they're down by four, and you can hear the Saskatchewan fans here who have made the trip into Red Deer. They're starting to make a little noise. It's tricky because the rock that Marie France just yeah. threw and the rock she froze to are so close together. If you hit too much of the yellow, you can't spring that top red. If you hit too much of the red, you won't have enough power to move the yellow back. So it has to be almost simultaneous. I think if this is hit on the nose, Linda, they only score one. Final stone. Marie France LaRouche showing a little concern. Michelle Englot. Nothing yet from Roberta Materi or Sarah Sloka. Going to come up, bang it in, and she'll move them far enough. She threw it there on her own. Into the crotch, and then that stone against cost the top of the forefoot goes just far enough. Saskatchewan gets two. Michelle's sons, Derek and Brett. It's time now for the m and Meet Shop's Final End Challenge right after the game. Go to finalend.ca and enter the secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to see the 2013 World Junior Curling Championship in Sochi, Russia. The first 100 entries will have a chance to win a $50 m and gift card, and all participants will get an m and discount. On this Wednesday night, here at the Scotties in Red Deer, Saskatchewan, we're in a very nice deuce and eight. Trailing by two, and uh, Quebec will have the last drop. They have the hammer here in nine playing the Redstones. Whoa, oh, that's sliding a bit. Well, Saskatchewan have had a lot of tough games, and unfortunately for them, that extra point that got ticked in in seven and then the decision to try and go for the freeze in seven gave the extra points back 
very nicely played in eight to get a deuce, but now they really have to struggle to try and steal. First one was out front, got ticked over and in. Albert. Which means they could hit it if they like. Okay, I'm going to Ou sinon, on monte celle-là et on roule par là. Ouais, avec la rouge. Hein? On va faire hit their own. I think that's what they're talking about. Euh, la rouge! Ben, Quelle vous voulez pousser, là? Qu'est-ce que tu préfères, toi? Ben, soit de pousser la rouge ici, puis de rouler là. C'est bon. Ou soit d'essayer encore le clip. Ben, on peut essayer la rouge. Ça Now va nous laisser le I think. Okay. 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 I think maybe bon. they've forgotten that he can bon. hit their own rock in the draw, three guards. Or maybe, Linda. Third. You can hit the red one with all the weight you want, and you can certainly hit the yellow that you punched in so beautifully uh, on the on the corner there. Yeah, I'm not sure why you want more rocks in play, and I don't know why you want to tap them behind the yellow, because that's really what Michelle Englott would like you to do. Yep. Yes. You're going to play this kind of weight. I, I, I think I ticked the enemy yes, rock off yes. that center line. And you'll punch it out into the open. So with the one final, we know that Manitoba has gone to seven and two. Jennifer Jones and has clinched at least a tiebreaker. BC, Team Canada, three losses. Quebec trying to stay there, join them if they can hold on and win. New Brunswick is in danger of dropping to four. Saskatchewan is trailing. They're in danger there. Which leads us to the final round robin day, which comes yeah. your way tomorrow. Yeah, well, we're gonna go out and, get this and we'll have coverage, of course, all three draws as we have all week long from here at the okay. NMAC Centrium. Kathy Gautry, Brian Mudrick at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. They will have Heather Nedowin, the Alberta champions from the Savile Sports Center. And Heather Strong from Newfoundland Labrador will, will once again try to play spoiler as she's trying to do tonight against New Brunswick. So we were suggesting that Quebec should hit something. The red or the yellow or split the yellow guard. You've punched another one in the rings. You've given them another chance to get in behind cover. And now peeling is made a little bit more difficult because mm -hmm. you've left rocks in play. I'd love to ask Quebec uh, in that situation after the game because I think uh, teams do forget uh, in the free guard zone that you can remove your own rock only. awareness it wasn't narrow it wasn't wide they just knew it wasn't deep enough to have time to have the desired curl so they kept it alive as long as they could and it worked out perfect yes 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 Oh, four. Yeah, it's zeros. All right. Quebec is sitting shot stone. And they do also have the last rock two. leading by two here in the ninth. Two. Okay, line's good. Line's good. You got to go? Line will be good. Do you need to? Easy. Well, just line. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Whoa, whoa, you're whoa. good. Okay, sit. Good shot. Yeah, zero. No, 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 no. 
to Nichols. No! Let's push that back a little bit. Might run on the line. Looked like a little bit of a wobble, huh? Yes. Ooh. And just enough to <laughs> catch it. Wow, what great things happened. You pushed it so thin, it was over the top of the yep. red. It looked like she might jam that. And then she took out the other yellow. No problem. Nothing to it. <laughs> Any better throw that yellow might jam on the corner guard, but because he hit it so thin, as Linda said, right. gets left. away with one. Okay, line's good. Line's good. We've still got a He's pocket a there. Uh, yep, pretty go, soon, go, go. obviously, there's only two uh, Saskatchewan rocks left. And we're going to just freeze one in there, similar to the last end. Yep, a little bit. Yeah, go, 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 go. Hard. Okay. So at some point in time, they have to make a move on the red rock as the uh, red rock shot. Okay. So, what do you think, Lana, about sitting in there? <laughs> and already yeah. they're starting to uh, plan. Michelle Englot, Lana Vey. As Brenda Lean. Nichols throws here in nine. Lean. 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 Right on this one. Good, and you're not seeing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I gave you there for your guards. It's coming up. So about yes. there, yeah. Kate, Kate, you got it, Michelle. They figured out how to do it last end. Going to nestle something in there now. Okay, just into the red one. Right on top. Yeah. To be careful, you don't want to be in the outside of the red one. Then it'd yeah. be a very simple yellow double to sit too red. Just have to get to the inside, the center line see, side Michelle. of. The Red Rock. So 80? Yep, 80 is 85. 80, 80, Let's go. Line's pretty good. Close. Gotta go a bit. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Go if you need to. Yeah, Six. line's really Line nice. be good. Six. Six. Oh, Try not to bump it and leave enough room to release this yellow. Oh, and there is the uh, word that it will bump it. All right, just a bit. To T line, edge of the button. Oh, that was so Sorry, close to perfect. Hey, it's, 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 it's a cruel sport sometimes. That's a foot lighter. You cannot remove it. Now there's an easy double. Ben, je peux frapper elle en premier, sauf que faut que faut que je la pogne main aussi. You'd almost like to uh, hit the uh, closest yellow first. We'll guarantee you uh, hanging around. If you hit the top one thick enough, you might make the double beat. You roll dead sideways right out of the rings. You'll almost end up in the sponge towels if you throw it hard enough. I think she's trying for the back one, uh, Linda. Well, I'm not sure. It's the way it looks, but she does throw that yeah, little yeah. pop, so it's hard to tell. Three Franz LaRouche and her first. Gonna crack the double here. Yes, she does. Perfect. Just grazed the top and got them both at the same time. Beautiful throw. A very impressive day for Quebec. Oh, That's geez. all you can oh, say. Yeah, just... And you could argue uh, impressive last night in their win over Team Canada because they just did not play well and hung in there long enough to win that game. Uh, amazing comeback. Well, this again, the game we started with, Kathy, 8-4. <coughs> Newfoundland Labrador leading. And it looks like New Brunswick may be sitting two. One for sure, top four. So uh, a draw for the single for Heather Strong coming up. It is for sure. Heather made the draw on the first one. That's the shot stone.
still 14 The bigger half. issue for New Brunswick, if they are able to steal, is there are less than six minutes left on the clock. They've utilized both of their timeouts, so that will be one of their challenges along with points if they play 10. Go then, go for no six. Curl yet. Curling hard now. Curling nice Okay, line's now. okay, yep. This might just be the be game sure. though, yep. if they can pick yes, up line, a five point sure. lead. Yep. Can't hurt it, guys. Oh, well, we're a little deep. It's okay though. We can be deep. So, great shot. Good job, job, guys. There it is for the single well point. Newfoundland Labrador. And the Please handshakes in Newfoundland and Labrador will pick up the win, make the final nine four, and that hands New Brunswick a fourth loss with two games to play in round robin coming up on Thursday. Everyone stayed up late. Thanks for watching. Sorry, one, one minute. Well, you saw the look from Michelle. Things just to have not worked in the last few ends, and this is a draw for two. Bring it in. Yep. On its backing. Oh. Big point. Uh, we see some threes yes. in the last end. You don't see very many it's fours. Backing. Yep. It's it's backing. It's She's had her draw weight Seen since it. last evening in the last couple of ends. Against Team Canada. Boy, this is magic now for Quebec as they pick up two and they're going to win it. Make the final 10 6 in Quebec. Goes to 6 and 3. Saskatchewan. Michelle Englock fall to 4 and 5. We'll have the final game on the ice here on this very interesting Wednesday night to the Scotties. The 2012 Scotties Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Scotties, proud supporter of women's curling for over 30 years. Well, it's been an eventful night with Manitoba winning to go to seven and two. So Jennifer Jones has guaranteed herself at least a tiebreaker. BC, Team Canada having the evening off. Quebec's win, so they join them at three losses. Alberta also idle at four. New Brunswick falls to four losses. Saskatchewan at five with Ontario. Nova Scotia still on the ice at five. Nova Scotia must win to keep their hopes alive. Five, in fact, is still a possibility. But six and anything more has been eliminated from this year's competition. It's time now for the M&M Meat Shop's final end challenge. And the secret word is ring. So right after the game, go to finalend.ca and enter that secret word for a chance to win a trip for two to see the 2013 World Junior Curling Championship in Sochi, Russia. So one game remains on the ice here at the NMAX Centrium. It's on sheet A, and it involves Nova Scotia sitting at those five losses playing PEI. And it is Nova Scotia leading 6-5. And Nova Scotia, Heather smith Dacy from CFB Halifax does also have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the Yellowstones. Okay. okay. We talk about all the different ways to play this situation. Wow. Heather Smith Dacey not trying to move anything off the front. Two center guards played, two come rounds played by Nova Scotia. We can't touch it, we're tight. Good thing for Nova Scotia, those okay. yellow ones are angled right in a position that if this is dead we on the button, which is probably where Kim wants it, or a top button, you can almost get it. Just gonna play the single peel. You could do it the other way and try to move all or get all the reds moving. Clean. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 
go, go, go. Okay, it's good. That is a Sinead Dolan. That's Kim Dolan's daughter. Wrap it around. You better go then. You better go. You better go. Yes, yes, yes. Hard. Okay. Good. Sure. Bliss Comstock. Throwing the second stones for the Nova Scotia champions last year. Finishing third, winning yep. a bronze medal in Charlottetown. Much yep. expected of them this week, Hard. but they have struggled. Hard. Maybe the pressure Hard. of those expectations hurting them in the in the run here in Red Deer. I think the surprise to me is that Heather Smith Dacey herself has really struggled. As a matter of fact, her first game out, she was 51%. She's had two games in the 50s, two in the 60s, just never hit her stride so far, at least in this event. Probably playing a little better tonight. We've just joined them. So far, uh, she was 96 this afternoon. So uh, you're right, it's a little bit like Quebec. They might be turning it around here. Is it too late? Who knows? But uh, we think five losses are still a lot. Well, you know five still alive at this point. So they rattle off undefeated. You never know. They finished strong last year. Interesting setup with the two reds uh, that are frozen together. They're definitely coming onto that yellow rock. Depends on whether you can drag it back or not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Clean, clean. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, good. Um. Well, coming up on Monday, it's the NHL trade deadline, and TSN has you covered with all-day coverage beginning at 8 a.m. Eastern time. Every trade, every deal, everywhere you are, Trade Center 2012 on TSN and also available live on TSN Mobile TV. Looks like more. Oh, wow. yep, 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 yep. Okay. Sorry, guys. Thought I was slow enough. Time out. Yeah, time. We got one of the best coming out for this situation because Mark uh, will know the angles and decide whether he can he can hammer that hard enough to get it. It's going to hit the yellow That's shot rock, but will it disappear? Off. And if it was just these two. They're going to drag. Former Canadian this, champion Mark Dixon. So, 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 so hit this hard here. Well, you're going to lose number one. But you, you can get rid of the red one and the red seven. It's the red eight that's going to stay. It's got to be really firm, a little bit on my side of no. Yeah, yeah, well that's. With peel wave. Yeah, so try and spin this off then. Here. Same weight you just threw. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you Stay away from those. Though. Yeah. Like get, that? Ready, get ready to sweep seven. Yeah, yeah. Mark knows the angles as Let's well as Danielle. anybody, and you're, he's going to come down here and throw a bullet, and the uh, top rock will go this way for sure. We know this one wants to go that way, but it, hopefully for the Nova Scotia team, it'll drag just enough to clip the yellow and come back that way. Just a little yeah. change of direction. I think when it comes down to it, you know you have to hit it. So what well, you're trying to do is eliminate as much as possible, yeah. even if you take some of the yellows with it. Exactly. Yeah. Got to clean like, it up. It's not like there's any other choices. Or <laughs> <laughs> need some speed here. Daniel Parsons. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yes. Hard. Ooh, and it didn't either. It didn't. And it's going to leave. Prince Edward Island sitting one and covered 
Just a reminder, stay with us right after our coverage of this 14th draw. Sports Center is coming your way. Well, Heather made a good point. Uh, the drag would have happened on the other two if you could have hit them on the side that you wanted to. It, the third red stone did complicate the situation of the angle. It takes away a lot of the drag, absolutely. Didn't have too many choices. Uh, it's still got an in off if you're Nova Scotia. Management of that guard. Easy double, but lines up a, the red onto the red, which will roll into the forefoot, will it not? Yeah, they keep I think you want to hit it a finding a way to get rocks yeah. in the right spot. <laughs> not exactly what yeah. they called. Yeah, because we need to open up both sides here. It's a good teaching I think tool. Has a tool never give up on them. Up. And plus, we might. I mean, at this point, my draw is really hard unless we play something off this. Well, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think you got to clear. We got to deal with these anyways. So a little high peel. Yeah. As you said, the uh, the three rocks that will stop the drag. Um, the two well, you can get the drag, but they need a lot of drag on this one. They have to hit it almost dead on to. Yeah. I, mean, I think it it's going to bounce back far enough. Yeah, but at least it's going to open up. I think your best bet is to try and jam it onto the other one rather yep. than have it spill. Yep, yep exactly. My guess is it's coming towards the button. Yeah, they might be able to throw it hard enough and drag it, get a little less of the yellow and have it come back yep. through the hole. Heather Smith, Daisy, Nova Hard. Scotia coming in at five Hard. losses. Hard. Cannot Hard. afford Hard. Hard. another Hard. Right one. To it. Right to it. Hard this is her first. Hard blitz. Uh oh. Nice uh oh. Shot. Uh oh. Hard. Opened up everything, but leaves PEI for the moment sitting three. Nice shot. I'm not sure what we could do there. That was the shot you had to clear. Don't, Don't forget, though, Nova Scotia is up one point. That actually makes a huge yeah, difference. I didn't. I don't know. I and didn't. Uh, I was. I knew it would. Timeout has been called by PEI. So that brings oh, Daryl Nowlin to the. You need to grab ice. one on the left, right? This one on the button. The one on the button. Yep. Yeah. Right, because then she makes the double the other way. She, she this may be our She's going to roll out past that one. So the, the main objective is to guard the one that's on the button. Yep. It's more line than weight. Oh, yeah. And like close to like. Tight. Tight is tight. good. Tight, tight is good because then she can't play the soft tap. Yeah. But it's mostly a line shot, right? Yeah. So and if you if you leave her anything, you want to leave her the center line side, okay. right? So how are we going to guard three quarter like guard okay. that nose on or a little bit on the inside? Well, yeah. You're going to come this way. way? Just, uh, oh, or which way? Oh, well, I like. I don't mind either one. I'm, I'm just wondering what's going to be the best way because we don't want to overbend it. So if we're going okay. the out turn, then take lots of ice. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Or go like that intern side? I like the intern side. Like. Okay. Okay. You still have lots of time. Yep. Like here's what you'd take for a draw to the button, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Great discussion by Daryl. He's okay. saying line is the most yep. important thing. Oh, Anywhere in this type of area, you, you can move it around. But I think he's thinking somewhere like this. You want to get across That's center, right? Tight. Heather center can't afford to play line. this double. Yeah, well, what about Linda Russ coming in a little deeper, going right to top four, right beside the other one? Right in here, Vic? Yeah, what do you think? Well, if you come too far, you set you set up a potential triple this way. And then your shooter would stay because that would be easy to double the top. I think you've got to go a little higher than that. Okay. The, the, the scary part, too, for um, Heather is if it's top eight-ish, there is a double, but you're going to roll out and give up a steal of two. I think you'd be conceding one and you'd going just, to the extra. You'd just be hitting the one at the uh, two o'clock position at the top of the forefoot and uh, going to an extra end. Fine, close. The shot that hurt is the one that didn't drag. Where are you? 
But that third Let rock, go, it made the big difference, didn't it? Nancy Cameron, Sinead Dolan, taking it for everything it has. But can you still get around now and play quiet tap? Well, that was Daryl's point. He was trying to get them so it, it went a little further to the right as we were just looking at it. So the center line side might have had a tiny hole, but the outturn tap wasn't there. It is there now. Do you have anything, Gliss? The danger is to try to make this for your win. You can uh, lose the game by taking the guard. Yeah, you know what? That's too hard. Let's take the <laughs> Back to the conceding the point. Yeah. I don't yeah. have any of it. Yeah. Because we're going to roll off if we happen not to get it. Wow. You throw, you ask for a back four to make that outturn tap, and you throw a little heavy, you flash, you lose the game. You tick the guard, you lose it's the game. It's too risky because I'm going to roll off, I'll be rolling off. And remember, too, now, this is a Nova Scotia team there, that comes that. in with five losses. A sixth eliminates them. Five still gives them a chance. So that's what they're looking at too, I'm guessing. I'm sure. Heather Smith, Stacy, Nova Scotia. Got to hang around there, though. You can't roll away because there's you're facing three here. Okay, you're okay. Can't roll away, and she'll sit there. Yep. It'll be a steal of one. PEI here in ten to tie it at six, wow. and it means we're going to go an extra. Prince Edward Island trying to play spoiler. Nova Scotia trying to stay alive here at the Scotties. The 2012 Scotty's Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by Ford, official automotive partner of the Canadian Curling Association. By M&M Meat Shops, hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. And by Roll Up the Rim to Win. It's time for Tim. We've seen a lot tonight, Linda, but we want the game story from Quebec, Saskatchewan. Because it's a wonderful story for Quebec, continuing their great play. Two deuces in the first five, forcing twice in that same period, and then a big mistake by Saskatchewan in seven, ticking in a third stone, and that really was it. The game story brought to you by M&M Meat Shops, hundreds of meal ideas, one aisle. Oh, yeah. Update you on some of the other scores. A uh, big game for Manitoba. Jennifer Jones from Winnipeg wins big eight to two. So she sits atop the standings at seven and two. Newfoundland plays a little bit of spoiler against New Brunswick, handing them a fourth loss. Newfoundland Leather and Labrador Heather Strong. And this is the game we're watching right now, PEI against Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia electing to give up the steal rather than try the difficult, quiet, come around tap. Realizing that at five losses at this time of the tournament, a sixth loss for Nova Scotia would eliminate them. Five losses are still part of the playoff story. And tomorrow will be the final day of round robin play and every team will play two games. Same weight's good. Same pattern to start with the two front guards. They are staggered differently than we saw in the last end. And Nova Scotia sticking with the two come arounds. Line, early line. Yep, hard line. I'm still a believer hard in the line. tick. I think it's one mm -hmm. thing that teams can hard practice. It's Where? hard because you don't go. utilize Where? it all line. the time. Hard, that hard, means it's hard, hard to hard, practice, hard, but go, it's go, a go. great Whee! tool. Yeah, you make it twice, you win the game in theory. Okay, you're on the front. Roll it off. Roll it off. Roll it. There's an accidental tick. Oh, okay. another line up on the reds. And that red peel's made. There's a good chance it goes on to that yellow one. Yeah. 
Oh, 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 oh now. Oh. Yeah, a little bit. Or, That's oh. good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Had a girl. You might go back in, but see if you can get these all moving. Trying to get all three reds to go. Liz Comstock throwing the second stones for Close. the Nova Scotia champions whoa. from Halifax. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. whoa no. no, no, no. Okay. It's a nice. And she'll get Good two. Luck, she'll crash the <laughs> stone in the house, but spin to the edge of the 12 foot. Worked out great. I think uh, Heather thought it was going right across the top, but uh, I think she thought everything had missed and everything hit. It's as good as it gets. It gets the everything off the four foot. The front's open. There is a corner guard, but it's only guarding the side of the four foot. Chance for double peel here eventually. Is it this tight? No, same weight. Make them even. Yes. Oh, yes. we can't get to you. Okay. spot to put that one staggered guards it's sort of one of those things where the lead makes two ticks and the second noses or somebody makes a nice triple peel and the next one you know it seems really hard for the focus to be maintained on all eight stones in this situation could be the pressure Follow it through Heather Smith Daisy will be facing a rock that is buried on the edge of the four and she would have the button available. The guards look like they're over far enough that that path is available. And every move, every dis decision at this point of the week takes on some added significance, especially if you're Nova Scotia. A difficult week it's been for that lady in particular, Heather Smith Daisy, trying to keep her team, her province alive in this year's sky. Yep. Clean. Clean. Yep. Stay on it. Clean. Nice throw, Daniel. Right here. A little more, maybe. Lots of line, guys. Same way. Go then. Like to get it past the yellow red hard, combination hard. there. Hard, hard. You could hard, bring it hard. all the way in to the spot hard, I mentioned hard. and then uh, see what Heather hard, did hard. if she happened to start peeling. You could put a better center guard up. Hard, 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 hard. That's good. Good shot. There's nothing raisable here, Linda, really, other than the. Uh, Yellow on the side, you could come around yourself, strange as it sounds, come around top four. It's a little early though. Might do it with Heather's first one. Sounds like a fire alarm has gone <laughs> off here. And they've asked to stop the clock now. I don't know what do we. <laughs> I don't gonna think get that... some. That wasn't the first thing that came to no. my mind to stop the clock. There was, is there a fire? Yeah, well. Well, I'll go stand in the ice and we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
something is obviously going on. They're going to stop this and you can't play through this. Thing is, we don't know whether, in fact, there is something going on here or somebody's pulled something. But it's uh, too distracting for the players, obviously, to play. Kathy Goji is on her way to ice level just to see what the officials are, are saying and what they should do. Now let me ask you something. So the security people have said now to uh, stay in your seats, Kathy, is that it basically? That is it right now, Vic. They're still trying to determine what it is, but security has advised that people should stay in their seats for now and they will confirm shortly what it is. Okay. Chief umpire having a discussion with the two skips. We'll take a quick break and then we'll know more when we come back. Russ, where is he? Did he pull that alarm? Where? <laughs> oh. Welcome back and listen. Listen. Nothing like the sound of silence. A false alarm, and it's been rectified, and we play on third stones. Yep. Nova Scotia's clean, Danielle clean, Parsons. Clean. Yep, 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 yep. As a coach, you try and simulate all the unexpected things that might happen at a Scotty's or a Briar, but I'm not sure you would come up with that one. <laughs> but I asked you, if, Russ, if, in fact, if it would have continued, you could have played through it, and you said yes. Oh, yeah, I don't think that's... Uh, I, I think the biggest problem for the athlete is you're in the hack, you're ready to go, and the alarm goes off. It, once you hear it a few times, it's, it is like your refrigerator after a while. You just get used to it, and I, I think they would have been able to handle it. Kathy? And that is the option. In fact, the officials were out on the ice saying to both of them, we feel that it is safe in the building. That sound may continue for a while. Are you prepared to play through? And both teams were making the decision when it went off. Just be, well, it should make sense. The only bad thing is if we somehow roll something to center line. Good opportunity for Kim here. Uh, she's had wonderful draw weight all week. Some of the draws are almost unmakeable. Fifty-three-year-old Kim Dole. In a ninth Scotty's oh, appearance, her first was back in 1983. And she says this will be whoa, the last whoa, kick whoa, at it for her. Whoa, whoa, we're only going short. You're actually throwing the guard. I thought they might go in. A little surprising if this over curls. You might see Heather go around it, but it's in a good spot. Okay. Too dangerous to go around now because it's wide open. If you make a beauty in the top of the button and PI runs it back and sticks it, you won't be happy. Once Heather got a couple of mistakes out front, I'm sure she's been thinking about what will be left if this is peeled off and then PEI sinks one. She will still have the button. I'm sure she's thought about that. Yep. Hard. 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 Hard, hard, hard. Okay, good. And away it goes, so two stones to play here. And the first from PEI and Kim Dolan. She's going to go where? In behind cover, Vic. You just have to decide how far to bring it, whether you want to leave a teaser. Depends who you're playing. And I think in this particular week, you want to leave Heather the draw. She's, uh, we watched her make highlight doubles, uh, three or four of them in one of the games, Jennifer Jones game, I believe. So uh, you either stick a little piece out of it or go right around. I think in this case, you go right around and say, your turn. Do you have her numbers there, her draw numbers for Heather Smith, Stacy? Looking. 
And then just got all the numbers. In this particular game, very good in the 80s. Mine's lost. Whoa, 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 Backing right off. Yep, go back then, man. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Kim. And it'll stop back edge of the four. So it'll be a draw against oh, two. Yep. For Nova Scotia and Heather Smith Dacey. I think it's the draw. Yeah. I'd love to have that in the same spot Get at it. the top of the four foot yeah. as opposed to the back. There's a little bit of backing here now. The ice is held up beautifully. Uh, you know, that spot uh, for uh, years That's used to heavier. slow down later in the game. It, it slid forever. Even though you don't play to backing, when you're in the hack and you see that Four path points. available, you don't see something sticking at the front of the forefoot, it's way back there. You feel much better about throwing this. Mm -hmm. Maybe too good, eh? You might throw to the backing and it won't curl enough. So you want to throw T line weight, and it's there as an excuse if you're a little heavy. Her record is three and five. Certainly disappointing for her. A bronze medalist a year ago, hey, well but she then. needs to win this game and has the opportunity here to go to four and five and keep her team way. alive. A sixth loss would eliminate Nova Scotia. Final yeah, stone, Heather Smith Dacey. Nobody, nothing from Comstock, nothing from Lake. All on its own, right down to the face for the win. Nova Scotia, nail biter of a draw, make the final 7 6 to stay alive with one day of round robin play to come here in Red Deer. So there they are, all the teams, all alive through the five lost teams. Newfoundland Labrador, PEI, Northwest Territories, Yukon have been eliminated. Our coverage will continue, of course. On Thursday morning, Heather Nedowin, four losses. Heather Strong will try to play spoiler again, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And now on behalf of all of us, thank you for joining us. The Scotties Tournament of Hearts from Red Deer on Canada's Sports Leader, TSN. Sports Center is next.